What up, everybody? It is Thursday, and this episode is brought to you by our six amazing endorsers. Division Street Auto, go see my man George. I don't know how many times I have to tell you. If you need something done with <laughs> with your car, something's wrong with your car, go see George. I don't know why you wouldn't. You can call him at 401-723-7080. He also does state inspections, uh, oil changes, you know, all that stuff. Um, also, we got Oneville Tire. If you need anything regarding tires, if you want to see if your alignment is aligned, <laughs> your front alignment, if you have questions about a bubble on the, on your sidewall of your tire, go see Dory at Oneville Tire. They've been there for 357,000 years. Very well known in the community. At 401-421-1800. If you're looking to, for something to do on a week night, weekend night, um, during the weekdays, go check out Donkey Dodgers Poker. It's a good time. You can get entered into a $2,000 monthly event and have a shot at the World Series of Poker. A free buy-in for $10,000. Why is my phone going off? <clears throat> Let me turn that off. <clears throat> Who else we got? Tops Electrical Supply Showroom and Gallery. So if you need any kind of lighting, go to Tops in Providence. Ask for Sean. He's a good friend of ours. <laughs> Uh, anything to do with lighting, indoor lighting, outdoor lighting. They do in-house consultations. Um, anything for electrical supply, go see them. Uh, they'll take care of you. <laughs> um, also, we got JW and Sun Construction. I forgot this was recorded, bro. I've been looking down the whole time. No, no, yeah, so am I. It don't matter. <laughs> JW and, and Construction, they, they specialize in kitchens, baths, and f- interior, finished flooring, siding, decks, and roofs. You can contact them. If you find them on Facebook. Wait, do I have a number for them? Yep, 401-487-4134. Find my man, John. He's huge. He looks like a wrestler or some kind of extra in Game of Thrones or something. Good guy. Last but not least, Legends Le- blah, blah. Legends Pub and <laughs> Should we do this over? <laughs> Legends Pub and Grub. Go check them out, and I'm, I'm going to tell you why. Because I frequent a lot, a lot of bars, and they probably have the best bar food menu that I can, that I've experienced. Downstairs. What? <laughs> <laughs> Go to Legends Pub and Grub. Talk to Erica. Ask for Erica, or ask for Ricky. They're both very, very nice, cool people. Uh, I mean. If you're, if you're looking for a cold beer or something after work, check them out. They're in Cranston. Their menu's off the chain. That's where I had my the, my favorite corned beef sandwich ever. Anyway, all right, guys. We got Jay Messier tonight from West Warwick, a local councilman. Let's go. Time to talk some shit with the J Squared Podcast. Here we go. Hey, what up? Oh, what's up, guys? Yeah. Fucking Mr. J Messi. We finally got him. Do you know what the countdown is for? Do you know why we do that? (laughs) Have you ever heard of that ever? Do you know why I unzip my pants when I go in the bathroom? (laughs) Um, Hey, I. You sh- you were on that that you had those three girls on your page the other day, the mental health. Oh yeah, things. Yeah. It, was, it said Q and A. I asked Correct. a question. I never got an answer. What was the question? Yeah, you just want to stay. You just didn't stick around. We gave you an answer. Oh oh, they spoke the answer. I thought they were, yeah, that makes yeah, more yeah, sense. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. What was the answer? Watching. Uh, so explain if you can. Oh, we, are we on? Are we on now? This is always yeah, bro. We're always on. Yeah, yeah we just start. We're never off. We're always on. <laughs> just make it natural. Forget the cameras. Forget no, the, the cameras. forget the handsome host. Just. It's you and me. It's yeah, you yeah. And yeah, so, I mean, me. obviously. <laughs> oh, Angie, I'm like, I, I was, you and me. I was going to give some background to the people <laughs> so they understood what my page and what I was about. But, yeah, so I promote, obviously, I promote a lot of different businesses and everything that's Rhode Island. So, 
instead of just always talking about cupcakes and pizza and all the fun things, we're trying to do something a little more right. community oriented, giving back to the community. So we're doing what we call community question and answer segments. Mm-hmm. So this past Monday we had one with the girls from the Holistic Heart right down the road in Warwick. So it was like a mental health Q and A. So people could either you know ask their questions in the comments. I'm sure later on they might have got some messages later on. But yep. I know typically if, if you have a question, a, a conversation like that, it's really not like a, it's not a fun conversation. It's not like, yeah, these pizzas are awesome. Ones. Yeah, true. So I think sometimes it's yeah. like, anxiety and depression. Yeah. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I'm drinking right now. Yeah. I, I drink away my <laughs> depression. No, so I think sometimes having, having those. Uh, the cup. What? So the camera can see the cup. Oh, the the logo? There you go. It's probably too low. Yeah, we can see that one. There you go. Now we can. Yeah, screw that beer. Drinking out of the G2. Drinking the Kool-Aid. But. Go yeah, ahead, yeah, continue, so, yeah. So having that conversation about, especially about mental health, I think uh, a lot of times people will, will absorb it and just kind of listen to the conversation. So I'm, I, I feel like we were at, we asked a lot of questions. I had a, a, a maybe like 10, 15 questions that I knew I to wanted to ask. Going. Yeah, to keep it going. But I think it's questions that a lot of people would want to ask. If you said, "Hey, what's your favorite pizza topping?" People are going to chime in. If you say, "Hey, like mm. you know, you ask some questions about what's your favorite restaurant to go to," but a question about, "Hey, you know, why are you depressed?" Because there's that ask. stigma. Yeah. People are. Yeah. It's, it's almost yeah, like there's health. some shame. Yeah, attached mental, to it. yeah, mental health has that stigma attached yeah. to it yeah that, you break, you so break, I, wish, I, mean, I said you break your leg you're gonna go to the hospital you're not gonna go well you know i'm just gonna walk around with this broken leg for yeah. three weeks and you know some people might <laughs> that was know. kind of my question too so i so the question that i asked because they were doing a live q and I, I wish i stuck around to hear the answer but it was going too much they had nice cool socks on too i don't know if you yeah, saw yeah, that yeah, no, i did i brought that up but, later i don't know if you're still, <laughs> still nah. listening um but the, the question i asked was that like as as i feel like as a man sometimes it can be considered weak or you know, you shouldn't succumb to feeling like you admitting to like a mental health issue, you know, like whether it's being depressed or feeling overwhelmed. I don't know why, but I, I've always pictured maybe I was well, taught I mean, this. It's, but it's a different genera- It's a generational thing. My, you know, uh, you know, 30 years ago, my dad wasn't going to be going to therapy because something, something was going on. But I think yeah. men- mental health, we we as a society. I mean, we're a little better now, but it would just be like you're you're crazy. You can't, you know, as opposed to like we all have issues, no matter what, whether it's small or big. Mental mm. health is health. You know, like we, uh, many of us are willing to take care of how we eat. You know, how we, mm. uh, you know, exercise, different things yeah, like why that. Why not your mind? Yeah, I mean, but mental mental health is the same thing. It doesn't necessarily mean tr- the 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 spectrum is huge. You know what I mean? There's obviously some people that you know maybe need to medication and they need extra treatment. There's, it could be just as simple as the same way you might have high talking blood pressure. To talking to somebody, cr- cr- even just creating of output if you if you go back yeah. it was a really good conversation even just keeping your mind active reading a book you know you know people when they go on you know they go on a crash diet to lose weight and and if your mental health is bad they kind of go hand in hand mental health and physical yeah health like the hip bones oh, connected yeah. to the thigh bone exactly, everything's yeah. all connected yeah, yeah. I mean, it's all, I'll talk about mental health all day. That this is going to be like a fun conversation. You know, <laughs> no, this is well. Hey, man, listen. <laughs> we're just shooting them. Don't judge. The all right, mental health can be fun. Mental health can be mental cool. Mental health can be well, fun. Well, it can be like how do you, like you can do some fun things to keep yourself, you know, like leveled. Uh, for example, I play video games. You know what I mean? Like when if I'm just feeling like overwhelmed, like when with whatever it is, like work, parenting, I'll fucking sit down well, and play some what, video whatever. games. Whatever, yeah, self-soothing, whatever. I mean, we all have our thing. A lot I, of people uh, meditate, which is, for you me, know, yeah, for that's me, all mental health. really good for you. For me, meditation is good. For me, I love walking, and that's kind of like my form of meditation. I like just going for walks, mm. chilling out. They say 10 seconds into a walk. Putting some headphones... Sometimes it's fun just to sit and listen to nature, but I like putting my headphones in, either listening to a podcast like J Two, oh, maybe listen. I, li- I like to listen to a lot of wrestling podcasts. The old of Bruce Pritchard. I don't know if you're a fit wrestling. You're fan. making it hard for me right now. Yeah, so, so I like to listen to podcasts, <laughs> to music. Uh, it's just cool to be out there in nature. That's my meditation, just being alone. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Absolutely. So just just to backtrack for a minute because we we jumped right into the. Yeah, we re- jumped right into the fire. The, just that, yeah, that that one specific post you had with the the three young um, ladies talking about mental health awareness and shit like that. You shared that on the page. Let's talk about your page. It's wicked. Wicked local RI. Because you have. Do you have a few? Do you have more yeah, than one? Yeah, so, yeah. So I get it mixed social, up. It's like social wonderfully media, majestic. Social you know, media. Like big dick Pawtucket. Like all kinds of crazy. Sultan shit. of social media. The Sultan <laughs> yeah. of social media. What a title yeah, to have. Yeah. So. Uh, so you're like a an Instagram model that's not great looking. Wicked. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah, definitely not. I'm not I'm, people don't follow me for the looks. So that's absolutely. Eh, you'd yeah. be surprised. Uh, wicked, Everybody has their flavor. Wicked local. Wicked local RI is. Uh, we promote everything Rhode Island, whether it's beaches, sunsets. 
cupcakes, different mm. events, not non Local businesses. Uh, local business, but not just business. Everything, anything, anything. Lo anything local in Rhode gotcha. Island. Uh, I make my money selling advertisements to the local businesses. Oh, you devil. Uh, uh, the, the group started about five years ago. I was out of work. I delivered, uh, I was. I owned Donkey Dodgers Poker. That's where I met you two gentlemen. I used to run a poker company, traveling poker company. Uh, I, I mean, it kind of ties into the mental health issues you were talking about. I was going through mm. some stuff. I went through a breakup with my ex-girlfriend. But even aside from, from that situation with her, I just was not in a good state of mind. Uh, I did like the job. I was making decent money, but I just, I wasn't in a place where I, where I wanted to be. So yeah, I, your heart wasn't in it. So I, I gave up, the, I sold the business to a friend of mine, Paul Carew, which I know you both know. Yeah. Um, and I literally went back to delivering pizzas for like six months. I go, you know what? Like, I'm just going to go, I'm going to go back to the basics. Yeah, just kind of Spend some time with my kids, a little bit of money that I had made from selling the company. And, and I used to deliver pizzas in my 20s. And then after a few months, I'm like, this fucking sucks. Delivering pizzas. <laughs> I mean, no offense to people that deliver pizzas. Like, it's it's an honest living. It's not for everybody. For me, it was to to own my own business and then to go back to cutting onions and having somebody go, you're five minutes late, Jay. Right. Fuck yeah. you, buddy. You know? Yeah. So now, I, I mean, it's funny because the position I'm in now, I got to be on time to those town council meetings. We'll get into that later mm -hmm. on. You know, but... Uh, so after those six months, I'm like, I can't do this anymore. So I, I quit the, the places I was delivering pizza from. And for the next year and a half, I just kind of did some odd jobs. Um, and just to keep, stay afloat, stay afloat. Uh, and then in December of 2004, uh, December of 2015, uh, I lost the job that I, that I was one of the jobs I was working at, at that point. And I remember that Christmas, uh, I also do the crazy Christmas wagon, I guess. Mm -hmm. some, I, I decorate my car at Christmas time. And do, we'll and get to that, too. Yeah, yeah right? well, Let's it ties see. in. I, at Christmas time, I decorate my car with Christmas lights, and we raise money for local families, right? So Dope. I had this. Fa Dope. I had these two face. I started the Facebook groups, actually, right after I had sold my business. And it's just a way to kind of do things in the community, keep myself, um, keep my mind and, occupied. Yeah. You know, so keep, initially, you started it just to have a... A, a little community page yeah. where people could talk yeah. about what's going yeah. on. Well, so so all right, we'll backtrack. I'll, I'll backtrack yeah. a minute. So, I actually was on a different. There's a different West. I my pay, my West Warwick page is called Wonderfully Majestic West Warwick. There was another page called Concerned Citizens of West Warwick, and I actually okay. got kicked off of it for trolling the page. Oh, so hold on. So did your entire career it's not, it's stem from, from a? Fuck you, you ain't kicking me out yeah, of this group. Not, yeah, it's like hundred percent. That's how it started. Yes, it good started. shit. So it's funny how <laughs> how things fall into place. So I um. It was when the neurovirus was going around, and, and somebody had allegedly gotten sick at the West Valley Inn, which is no no longer there in West Warwick, and right. many of you probably been to weddings or events there, right? Uh, so as a joke, I, I used to do my laundry in front of there, and I was sick, but there was you know, flu season. Anybody could have been sick. Yeah, so right. I went on the page, and I go, you know, I do laundry right near the West Valley Inn. Do you think that they're the ones that got me sick? And it was so obviously tongue-in-cheek, and it was a joke. Right, it's a joke. So people started trashing me, and they kicked me off the page, and I go, these mother... And I and, 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 and fast bitches, forward now, man. I would kick me off my page now, too, if I was me. <laughs> was doing that. So I go, I look at my, my friend, goes, we should start our own page. I go, yeah, we're going to start it. It's going to be the number one fucking page in West Warwick. He goes, but let's take it serious at first, then we'll fuck around. <laughs> and what happened was I equate it to, like, a 1980s movie where you where you like you pretend to like the nerdy girl, and at the end of the movie, you fall in love with her. That was yeah. me in the town of West Warwick and the community of... Oh, really, all of Rhode Island. So, do you still have a partner on the page or no? Uh, it was uh, my friend. No, my, after a few couple couple months, my friend's like, I'm, I'm not. A couple of posts, he's like, Yeah, I'm not. He replying goes, to Yeah, I'm done with. Yeah, too many, too many inbox messages from people. Uh, so that's what it started off. It was just, I regret just that doing, now. Just doing things in the community, uh, help helping out, uh, just helping people out. So, to the fast forward to 2015, I was decorating my car with Christmas lights, and I was using it as this. We adopted over like 70 families over the course of a couple of Christmases at that point. Uh, what we would do is the crazy Christmas way. We would light it up with lights, and obviously it brings a lot of attention. A car driving around the streets, if you've never seen it out there, right. look it up on Facebook. Yeah. Crazy Christmas wagon around. George, look it can up. You pull up some pics. Um, you, if you just look at the car, you'll understand how it gets attention. <laughs> so with that attention, I was like, you know what? Of course. Uh, I like attention at, at some points, but I was like, we could take this attention that this car uh, brings and we could help some people out in the community. And uh, we ended up helping out all these families. What we would do is say, hey, you want the crazy Christmas wagon to come to your house? Give us a donation, whether it's wrapping paper, whether it's presents, whether it's a gift card, and then we'll get it to families in need. And through the, through the power of these pages, which have, at that point, I mean, maybe a couple of thousand people. Now, now we're probably looking at between thirty and forty thousand people between all my different Facebook pages. Pretty, wow. pretty. Yeah. The, what's great about your page and, and the group is that it's not just thirty, forty thousand numbers. Everybody's local. Yeah, it's, no, it's, it's, right, it's, so yeah it's, I can it's, see how that's. It's what they it's what they call uh, yeah you know, they call it hyper local is the kind of advertising we do, and it's also there's a huge engagement because like a newspaper company. They could say, "Well, we reach thirty thousand homes with our newspaper." You know, but now, why what? do you why when do I, you assume that it's a ninety year old woman that is saying that? 
Well, that, oh, that, cause that could be a man. Could be a man. Just but, but, but I'm just saying. I, that's a newspaper well, saying, voice. As, yeah, that's my newspaper voice. <laughs> like 90,000 ohms. <laughs> the Times. So, I mean, but you don't know who reads it. You never know who's going to read that newspaper. Right. Print media is dying slowly. Oh, for sure. Or, or maybe a little faster yeah. than slowly. Yeah, you know? not slowly, dude. So you it's... get the newspaper, um, you don't know who reads it, so they can say how many people they reach. With, with social media, you can. I can tell you, in my Coventry Facebook group, one of the, one mm-hmm. of the three groups that I run in addition to Wicked Local RI, they're all part of the Wicked Local RI family. We have over 16,000 people in the group, and I can tell you last Hashtag month- Hashtag balling. Uh, last last month there was uh, over fourteen thousand people were engaged in posts. That means they either liked them, shared them, read them, commented, did something. Commented, did something. So that means yeah. they saw them. You know, you can't do that with a newspaper. It's just right. impossible to do. So with social media now, you can you can tell an advertiser. This is how many people are on my page. This is how many people are uh, seeing things. You know, so that, I started learning it with the stuff with the crazy Christmas wagon. When I go, wow, there's so many people on this page. And I didn't want to go back to get a nine to five job. You know, right. Pizza delivery is not really nine to five, but I didn't want to get a regular job. I'm not a regular. My previous job was I, I ran a, a traveling poker tour. Mm. Before that, I was a pizza, uh, you know, the pizza delivery guy. Uh, I was I was a mall Easter bunny at one point. I was a, kind of kara- I was a karaoke time, DJ. You know, yeah, right. and, and once you work for yourself, it's really tough to go back to that grind of somebody else telling you when you can come in, when you got to leave. Yeah. You want, you know, your kid has a soccer game. Uh, your kid, you want to go go to WrestleMania. You want to watch something. With, you, know, you have to switch your shift, switch your schedule. The way I do my business right now, it's a lot of work. I put a lot of hours in, but if I want to go take off for a weekend, I can do it. I don't have to answer mm. to anybody. Right. So what I said was, uh, as we entered the new year, I go, I'm looking for some kind of a job where I can help the community. I can I can make a good living uh, for my for myself and my family. And everywhere I looked, there was there was no there was no job that fit what I was looking for. Mm. And 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 that creative output. I feel like I'm a creative guy, so if yeah. I don't delivering pizzas didn't fulfill that creative output. You know what I mean? Right. So, obviously. So, um, yeah, it was fun. I mean, it was fun in the 20s. I met a lot of cool people delivering pizzas, but it just didn't fulfill my creative output at that point. So I said, you know what? There, there's so many people on these pages, and at that time, I only had the uh, West Warwick and the Coventry page. Coventry page had maybe 2,500 people, and the West Warwick page had about 3,000. Uh, so they were much, much smaller. The West Warwick page now has 10,000, and the Coventry has 16,000. So I said, you know what? There's got to be a way where I can do some advertising, because there's the people weren't doing advertising through Facebook groups. People advertise on social media through their pages, but... Like uh, sponsored pages and shit. But up. you don't see a lot of advertising through Facebook groups, and there's this misnomer that it's not allowed by Facebook, which is... Totally bullshit. Uh, I'm. I got added to a Facebook group uh, about a year and a half ago, and it's it's called Power Admins. And Facebook adds you to it if you have a, if you run a group with so many members, they automatically add you to this group, and it gives you pointers and tips mm. on what's allowed, what's not allowed. Mm. Like you can charge, you can you can literally charge admission to a group if you want to do that. We don't do that because I, I mm. our our Facebook groups for the people out there that are not familiar with them, look up Wicked Local RI and look up some of the groups. Um, it really is a news source. The Coventry, Rhode Island, yeah. biggest town, small state. It's the biggest news source. In the entire town of Coventry, um, bar none. It's where people come for. If you know, if there's a pothole in the street, if they see police cars come by, like two weeks ago, um, the strike at Stop and Shop brought a lot of viewers to the page. So I mean, I, I wasn't happy that the, the people were on strike at Stop and Shop. I'm glad it's over. But I can tell you, the traffic that came through the page was huge. Yeah, it was huge. Oh yeah, I'm sure. You know, so anything like that, yeah, that was a big deal. Um, it, it's a big deal, yeah, because it's Stop and Shop, and it's it's a staple in in Rhode Island. You know, so I, it brought a lot of people to the page. So things like that. Are good things, and like I said, when people need help in the community, it's a good, um, it's a galvanizing point for them to come and Let bring me, people together. I just want to absolutely to touch base on that. Like, what, what's your stance on? The, I've never really experienced. I've never went on strike. I never had anybody close to me go on strike until this stop and shop thing. I have a few friends, you know, that yeah. work there, and obviously, I saw a lot of people talking about, you know, don't cross the picket line. Hey, fuck it, I'm going anyway. Or so people yeah. like, well, what's your- I sub I 100. Uh, percent I didn't cross the picket line. Uh, I support. What's the so bad about crossing a picket line? Uh, but I um, depends on what your personal stance is. Yeah, I mean, if you want to go in, uh, this is my. If you needed to, uh, my, I would Why cross the picket line. If you needed line? medication at the pharmacy. Listen, I I disagreed. I, I kind of stood on both sides. I disagreed with the strikers that were, and I don't know how 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 often this happened, harassing some people that were going to the pharmacy. A lot of people that I talked to said they didn't see it. I know a few people said they did, but it's social media, yeah. so you really don't know what the truth is. I well, think if you need to go in there and get medication, thing. go get your medication. If there's if there's fifty people out there on strike, 
most of them are probably reasonable people, but of course there's going to be one or two dickheads that are going to harass people. And you, and you get younger kids. You know what I mean? You get it younger, is what it is. Yeah, but Stop and you get younger kids that could be 18, 19, 20. They've never been part of a union. Listen, this is the first time they've ever been involved so, in a strike. So it's a little bit different than so you're saying fire. And they don't know if you're going for medication or for shopping. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I don't give strikers. a shit what you're going for, dude. If you're on strike, you can be on strike. Do what you do. But if I decide I want to go buy a fucking gallon of milk at Stop and Shop, you know, like... You're on strike. That's not going to affect it. You can't get upset if it doesn't affect me if I want to go buy milk. I'm not saying that I would cross a picket line. I, I don't know if I would. If I wanted milk that bad, I might. But like, if you start yelling profanities, bro, fuck you. You don't deserve anything. You I don't, don't even deserve I don't a agree, job. I don't agree with that because at the end of the day, the strike's over now. And yeah. if you did do that, you probably you probably scared off some customers. I don't know how widespread that was. Did it happen? I'm sure it happened yeah. in some spots because there's assholes everywhere. No matter where you are, you're gonna find assholes. Right. And I'm sure. Strike or not and I'm sure there was people. And I'm sure there's people harassing the strikers. I'm sure it went both ways. Yeah, yeah you're probably I wasn't right. crossing the picket line. You weren't. I wasn't gonna be. Um, was it Bobby Orr that crossed the picket line? Oh yeah, the, the ex Bruin, right? Yeah, yeah, he crossed yeah, the yeah, picket yeah. line. That's like one where you're a union guy and you're gonna cross the picket line. You know. That's, that's what it comes down to. It comes down to like personal stance, whether you support unions or whether you you don't. But yeah, even, and, even and, if you're indifferent, what if you're indifferent? And union to union, each union is going to be a little different. I know union probably usually supports union, but when you're talking yeah. about like a, like a fire department, right, or a police department, and, and as a town councilman, uh, we'll probably get into this, I'm a town councilman at West Warwick, and negotiating with some of the unions, you see it from a different perspective because my goal is is twofold. You want to, firefighters, police officers, they absolutely, they, they, they deserve uh, the pay they get, they deserve their pensions, but at the same time, it's like, all right, what's what's good for the police department, or fire department, and also you gotta you gotta weigh on the other hand, well, the you know the the citizens of the community that voted you in, and you gotta find this balance right. to go. Listen, let you know you you've got to find some medium ground. Where a stop and shop is a little different because it's a for profit business, yeah. you know. So I feel a little less bad that stop and shop has to pay their employees a little more. Where yeah. you know in in a, in a municipal government, you're like, well, we have to raise your taxes to do this. You know, right. a stop and shop is a business. Stop and shop raises their prices, and I'm as a as a consumer decide not to go there, then I. Don't go there. Mm. As a citizen of West Warwick, if I raise your taxes, you can move, but it's a lot more difficult to move than to go shopping. At different right, right. You're, you're going to. You eat have that to look either. at both entities, the union and ma management or the company. They have, they have completely opposite. Of course, yeah. Objectives, yeah. Meaning, mm. Stop and Shop, obviously being a business, a for profit business, they're trying to decrease expenses. The unions trying to decrease their hours and raise their pay. So mm. I mean, like. Obviously, they're going to collide. Yeah. You know, so I, yeah, that's pretty much. Any. And, I, and I think you know, it's not every company. I mean, there are some companies out there well, that really take take. A, a take I, I think well, this this is where I, I draw a line of contention is that like, I feel like you know they 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 came out of the strike and everybody seems to be happy, but I think like the stop and shop workers are treated uh, more fairly than some of the, some you know like oh, well, I heard one somebody say go to Walmart instead. Well, I mean, if you're striking for better better rights for for people, don't tell them to go to Walmart because I mean well, Wal I mean sorry. Walmart is <laughs> is a conglomerate that they I mean if they hear you talk about union, they'll probably kick you out of this store, you know. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I think people get caught up. Well, you get you get good benefits. You shouldn't fight for more. Hey, if you if you think it's worth it and you want to go on strike and you want to put your job on the line, mm. then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna. That no, you have that right. Because that's nobody else to say that. Because that's your right to be able to do that. And I, and like you said, it is your right if you decide to go do that store. Uh, I, I don't think it's my battle to fight, so I'm staying out of it. Especially as yeah. a public figure, I'm not going to get caught in that picture. Makes no. sense. Me, me. Here's the deal. Me personally. I don't really fuck with Stop and Shop too much anyway. Mm. I, it's it's super corporate. I like anytime I can spend money at a local place. You know, getting supporting somebody that has a family. You know, like you just see like yeah, a, a, look, yeah, and it goes back to, a small business. You know, so I, funny, I prefer that. People say that right? They go, they want to support local, but then they go, well, I don't like to go to Dave's because it's a little more money. You support, I have no problem if you with support, that. If you support local, and not even on Dave's, like even yeah. when you go down to you know little local pizza farmers shops, like I promote or farmers markets, yeah. uh, you know little little local yeah. like little stores that sell you know little trinkets and stuff. Yeah. You're gonna pay a little more because it's it's they it's a local. It they don't get it. Yeah, they don't yeah, get like right. Walmart buying five billion right. items at a time. You're gonna pay a little more, mm. but that money is going back to like people in your community as opposed to you know a Walmart where. You know, you get people that aren't getting good wages. I mean, just recently, Where the Waltons are just you're gonna help pay, buy, help them buy another Lamborghini. Or and something. even look at like recently, I don't know the full details, but I know they laid off a whole bunch of uh, handicapped workers recently. That you know, the door greeters, they get rid of all of them. The mm -hmm. only way you're on as a door greeter now is if you can like physically do work, and it sucks because there's some people there that. That was the only time they had a job. There was a guy that I think worked there for twenty something years. He got a severance package. He'd probably never work. He'd probably never be able to work again. You know. So it's as a business, you're right. You have that right as a business to do that. It's yeah. kind of like the nature of the beast as a business. You know what I mean? Like I don't blame necessarily some uh, a, a huge corporation like Walmart for or stuff. 
Yeah, to tr- I mean that's the whole point of going yeah. into business. To try yeah, because to when money. you when you think of that expense, you're, say you're they have trying ten to, greeters per store. It's you not know your I mean? responsibility They're, to take care of. It's not a million people. Yeah. yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. And, like you, and, and so I kind of get it. And jobs are and jobs are evolving. I went to uh, uh, as a town councilman. We went to a, new, a newly elected leaders conference every two years after an election. Uh, even if you're you a town get, councilman, you, yes, town councilman. Holla. So, so, so West Warwick, which uh, uh, Ward Three, Ward, Ward three, three, West Warwick, Ward Three, West I Warwick. Shout out. Stories we shout out with that. that. Hashtag politician. Hashtag Jay Messier. Hashtag councilman. So one of the one of the <laughs> gentlemen, one of the gentlemen uh, at the uh, Bryant <laughs> University said something in the next in the next ten years we're going to enter the next industrial revolution. Because uh, everything's AI, like it's, everything's everything automated. is going AI, yeah. and jobs that are. My daughter's graduating from high school this year. In ten years, a huge. I can give you the number percentage of the jobs that are there now will not be there. Anymore. She's like, I want to work in an industrial you conveyor need, belt in a factory. You need, you need, yeah. I want to be a. I want to be the conveyor belt. I want yeah, to be like me as a machinist. Like that's probably yeah, bro. Three D printing. You yeah. better fucking learn. <laughs> and something. that's why. Hey, hashtag learn to code. And it is. It is about. <laughs> it is about. Uh, you know, adapt, adapt, and overcome. I think that's anything in society. You can, uh, and so that's why the stop and shop workers. I can understand why they're fighting because some of those jobs aren't going to be there. Right. Self checkout. Mm-hmm. 100% in favor of it. No I don't shit, like it. Bro. I talk to people all I'm day. Not, dude. You're not? <laughs> no. I talk to people all day long, right? Yeah. And I love people. But when I go shopping, I just want to get in and get out. It, I dude, want to get my shit and I just want to go bro. home. If people don't mind doing it, let, you know, I don't, whatever. Like, yeah. Nah, I would nah, never I, judge people. Just, for hey, when I, any, when I pay a bill, dude, it's online. It's on but my phone. But I like phone. having the option to, and, and sometimes, sometimes I just, I like, I don't, like, I want to bag stuff the way I want to bag it. I go to, I go to the counter. I have a little bit of an OCD. Yeah, thing. see, so I'll, see guy, ever, I'll, see, not, I'll see a guy. I'll see a guy with some, prissy, I'll see like, some guy with some grubby <laughs> fingers. I'll see him. Oh, this is my worst. I go to CVS and I'll see the girl go, <laughs> and sneeze. I'm like, well, you want to fucking touch my candy bar? <laughs> I literally, my son will see me. I go, uh, I'll go put it, I'll, I'll make some excuse. I'll put it down and we'll go, he, we're going somewhere else. Yeah, the lady sneezed. She's not touching my fucking candy bar. Nothing, yeah. yeah. So, so um, it's not, you don't have to worry about that. You go to the checkout. Yeah, you're right. So who knows who, who, the guy that could have wiped his ass and put those bags there? I don't know that, but if I don't know, your then, produce, you know, he's yeah. touching your fucking apples. See, you don't know, you don't know. But <laughs> my, my issue with it is, is just a person, obviously a personal issue. Is just like I don't want to fucking do shit. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're not paying me. I'm not fucking doing and, and, all that and, shit. Yeah, no. and, that's, and, that, and that's a lot of people's opinion. To me, it's not. I mean, do they do they save with those? Maybe I was spoiled do they already. Save, you know? Do they save yeah. some money with those? Th- they probably do. But if people really didn't like them, they wouldn't have Yo, that. They Jay, have more Jay for a into a gas. Like, I mean, a lot of people do like the. Well, this, I don't think it's based off of like. I think it's just a, it's a cost savings. To save money. That's no, it is. It is. But it, but it, it's a cost savings. But if people didn't use them. If let's say well, people like let's it, say they had sure, self checkout, oh, right? nobody use it, they would get they, rid of it. They would get it. rid yeah. of it. Yeah, absolutely. They have they, it's a cost savings, but it's also people people utilize them. Yeah, you can go to definitely. Walmart and you have and most WalMarts have the the self checkout now is the funnel you know the, the funnel checkout you yeah. know where you wait and there's like you know eight registers right, and right, right. one clears out so you don't have to you don't have to pick a line and go I hope I didn't pick the slow yeah. line right. boom you're in and out as quick you know whereas in the old days you had to wait you know WalMarts you know what do they say Stop and Shop still yeah. has more people working the registers than Walmart does even during the strike. <laughs> That's right. Walmart never has enough registers. Fucking thirty-five registers, two people open. Yeah, but things are the things are changing. Jobs are changing. Even from when I graduated twenty years ago, I didn't graduate. I dropped out. When my when my class graduated twenty twenty-one years ago, I say now, that all the time too because I did too. Things, I things, things change so much. So you, like I, I could have never guessed when I when my class graduated. I would be running a social media page, and I would. Bro, I, social I, media didn't exist. When I, I know graduated. That's, that's what I mean. So you exactly. So twenty years from now, you don't know what things yeah, you will would never. Thought. You, you oh, would never. You couldn't people were still that. playing snake on. You know, you didn't have cell phones. You didn't have when a cell phone. Yeah. Dude. So to to Man, to think. Rolling, bro. To think that I would be where I am now, you could never even imagine that. So when people say, "Well, this is going to be my job and this is going to be my career," now you know what jobs will be in need. You know, like plumbers, uh, electricians, trades, skilled trades, trades because yeah. those trades oh, well, you still you that. still need those people. Mm. And less than, and those jobs are going to be better paying because a lot of people yeah. a lot I'll of people you, I want. Bet, I bet those are also taking a big hit with YouTube. I'm sure like handyman and just basic plumber like calls. Uh, have went down so far. No, they from don't because YouTube. the people that watch the YouTube video are fucking up more. I'm um, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I bet, of, I, bet that's, of, I, you know, I bet a plumber, like if you show up to a house and somebody's like, Well, I watch YouTube yeah, video, sure, yeah. they must hear that all the time. I, like, I mean right. speaking of YouTube, I mean how many kids nowadays uh you know, I want to be a YouTuber when I grow up, or I want to be you know, and, and right. the, the truth is you can make a good living depending on how you do it, but not yeah. everybody's going to make a, uh, make a living. Do it. I, yeah. I'm fortunate that I had this following organically on my pages from doing things in the community. Yeah. So when I decided to to make my business, what I was what I said was, you know what? They they have restaurant weeks in Providence. Do you have a YouTube Island. channel or no? 
I do. Uh, I just I just started it recently. The YouTube channel is tough to get to get out there on Facebook because of the way the algorithms work. If you share a YouTube video, it's not going to reach as many people as if you share the video straight from Facebook. I do have the YouTube video, that makes sense. but the right. video but the videos come out much clearer on YouTube when you upload right. a video on Facebook. We'll do these things called food squads. We'll go to a restaurant. We'll do a food tasting. George, you want to hear this part? <laughs> Let okay. me guess. The, the the audio is out of sync. No, 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 no. It oh, comes out fine, but, but, but Facebook just degrades the video a little bit. Just That's just yeah. the way Facebook is. So we put it Because they need to get it out there quickly. Because I've got a guy asking me, he goes, oh, your video looks a little grainy. What do you use? I go, I use my phone. Look at this I video. Got, he I goes, oh, Android. shit, that's really clear. I go, yeah, it's Facebook that does that. Ain't me. Huh. I put it on YouTube. It comes out It comes out 100% clear. Um, so, yeah, what I said was, it would be cool if we did a restaurant week at West Warwick. That's how I, I started my business. I go, uh, I reached out to some business. And obviously, it wouldn't be the same as Block Island or Newport. You know, yeah. Providence, we would highlight our pizza places, our wiener joints. And my friend had just opened a, a little gaming shop, Reality A Games. We still promote them now. And I go, you know, we'll, we'll include. What do they do there? Like, uh, they sell. What is it called? They, Reality A Games. They sell old, uh, any old school video game, Nintendo, Super, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, any oh, old game. Yeah? Any console. A, any that's console. A, that's a big almost, business right now. Any console, and they have. Almost every game. I mean, some come in and out, and they'll buy your. That's they'll, crazy. Do they usually have them in stock, or can they just like acquire them if you need it? Systems. I believe they have everyone in stock currently. The game. G- games. Games. No it really just it. depends. Pong? What? Pong. Back to Pong. Yeah, they got they got everything. They got Atari. Oh, yeah, they got everything. Pong. It's Pong the. Boop. And they also do like they, they, they're huge. They're hugest <laughs> actually clientele. They do. They also do like Magic and Pokemon and Yu Gi Oh. Wow. So they have like that's it's crazy a, that Pokemon is still a thing, man. So when, like, that shit was big when I was growing yeah, up. Yeah, it's been around since the early night. What Forever, midnight? I never got into it. I didn't. Even oh understand my god, it. bro! I used really, to get like holographic my, cards. I'd fucking lose my mind. Me and my kid do. played like the Pokemon on. Uh, you know when it was the Pokemon oh, Go you on were Facebook for, yeah, about a that year. That's a cool game, man. That got a lot of people fucking out there and walking around. Yeah, it was fun for a little while, you know. And yeah, then, people still play that, that shit. I'm like, bro, people do, but it's not as you know, it's not. I'm as, like, don't you know how to fucking live and don't you know how to live and die with trends? Like, it's not cool anymore. Get a life. Yeah, get a yeah. Sign up for Fortnite, buddy. <laughs> Dude, Fortnite, Fortnite is is fucking something that really changed the. It, it's crazy because when you hear Fortnite, when you hear video games, most people, especially like older people, you know, like, and when I say older, I don't mean it like a hey, older people suck, but. They just don't understand, you know. They're not. Yeah, I feel like I'm the older. I feel like I'm the older person because I don't understand it. <laughs> no, no, no. But so, so it, it changed the either. game because first, you've never heard of a video game as uh, like commence as Fortnite, where everybody's talking about it. Every kid plays it. Yeah. You know, when has a kid ever said, "Hey, I just want like digital currency for a video game"? Yeah, that's for my Christmas. kid. for Christmas? What do you, you want for Christmas? V bucks. V bucks. All I want is V bucks. Want is V-Bucks. Yeah. We're just an Easter egg hunt, and my you know what my girl V-Bucks? Sasha was putting so, money. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Sasha was putting money it's in cards. the Easter. Yeah, it's, oh. it's in the game. You can buy like aesthetic upgrades in the game. Oh, okay. Not characters. even upgrades. Some of them are just different costumes where you can kill people. With no, no, no. Because not some of them. All of them are. Some of them are different weapons. No, no, no. No, that's not true. Nothing. The, the only change that you can buy in that game is aesthetic. You Nothing gives you any advantage. No, packs, no, no, that's what makes that game great. Is you can't pay to be better than somebody. Yeah, else. that's that's what my son wanted huh. when he wanted to download it for us. Mom, it's free. Yeah, you realize it's free until you it's realize it's, it's only free to download. Oh, it's great, bro. Right. I, I downloaded Everything the game for free. Cost money. I spent about yeah. forty bucks a month between my two kids on that game easily. Like probably even well, more. The, the, what I think I believe about Fortnite is with my son. I'm, I'm not very good at punishing him. Um, and if I said no TV tonight, it means fucking I'm not watching TV, right? Yeah. Fortnite? I don't give a fuck about Fortnite. Yeah. <laughs> you just lost Fortnite tonight. What? Yeah, yep, dude. sorry. You're going to have to spend time with dad like the old days. Yeah, had, bro, Fortnite is uh, life. Right? I watch him play a, a little kid? bit, but I don't know I don't know enough about it. I feel like this is when I've reached that old age because any other... Um, any other fad that my son is like Pokemon, yeah. you know, WWE. You know about Tales, I knew I could tell you everything about it. Fortnite, like I know a little bit about it, but I don't know much. Well, but. here's what's crazy: is think about how old is Jacoby? Uh, Jacoby yeah, is your son. Is nine, yeah. He's he's nine years old. Usually, anything in his life as a nine year old, if he gets into something, if if there's a competitive. Um, like foundation to it, you're probably able to compete with him. Whether it's a sport, yeah, yeah. any kind of um, intellectual game, a board game, you can probably like. Yeah, hey, yeah. you're still an adult. Yeah, he's we're nine. Gonna, yeah, we're gonna play Mario Kart. We can play Mario Kart. When it, yeah. when it comes to this game, nine year olds will fuck you up, dude. As an adult, and you will never be able to catch up to them. If you started playing this game right now, there are nine. There's a six year olds in the world that you would never be able to best them at this game. You know what well, I mean? Of like, it's, it's, they're playing every single day. And... But even if you play as much as them, it's just. But, but it's I think a... it does show how much they play when you're like, you know. I mean, as a kid, yeah, they... I think about what I, what I loved as much as a kid, like as a video game. I don't know if there was like a, uh, there was there was no there wasn't that much interactivity. Like I would wait till Nintendo Power Street came Fighter. out. Street Fighter, Street Fighter, but but you still wouldn't be able to 
Like you would have to have your friends come over your house. You couldn't just play all the friends oh, all yeah, at the well, same yeah. time. On, you know what like I mean? multiplayer, online multiplayer. You know, or like I remember Mario Kart. Everything. I would I would wait for Nintendo Power to come out every month and go, hey, I want to see if my high score that broke last month's high score for right. Mario Kart for Rainbow Road, and mm-hmm. I'd look, oh, that motherfucker Billy from <laughs> North Dakota <laughs> broke my record. Mario mm-hmm. Kart still a fucking great. It's Mario Kart's pretty cool. We That's, do at, at it stays play, popular at the place Reality of Games. We uh, we actually do uh, once a month. We do a, re- a Mario Kart competitions tournament. And and yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. It's kind of. Cause, cause he does all the a lot of the magic tournaments, and I don't know anything about magic. So I'm like, let's do a Mario Kart tournament. I'll host it, and we'll try to, mm. you know, I, I don't charge. It's part of the advertising. I just we host the tournament. That's cool. You know, so that's that was basically how, how it started. And I I went from business to business in West Warwick. I char- literally charged the businesses thirty bucks. I go thirty bucks for one ad, um, and it was so successful. We signed forty businesses. I went and got my LLC, uh, and I went to Warwick. We promoted about fifty businesses. I raised my rate a little bit. And then before we got to Coventry, my page at that time had about 2,800 by this point. And I said, Coventry, if we can get the page to 3,000 members by Friday, I'll do Wicked Local Week in Coventry. And we went there. We promoted over 60 businesses. And how, then, do you, how do you find some balance between you know, people that might have just joined because it's like, hey, here's what's going on in the community. This is cool. To it becoming just saturated with ads. Is it the way you yeah, yeah, create? No, so, is it the way you create the yeah, yeah, ads, so, so, or a mixture of? Yeah. So I, I, I'm the only one that's allowed to post ads. Nobody right. else. Of uh, course. Except for my. If you're a business that promotes with me, I allow you to kind of post some of your own things occasionally. So that's what balances. The now, ads. How, do, how do you occasionally? I mean, people could I, I, get I, carried I, away with that. You uh, just uh, monitor it. Uh, yeah, well, I, I kind of have a, an unwritten agreement with the businesses don't gotcha. spam the page because it's going to hurt you, and most of right. them understand. If it got yeah. to the point where I, I haven't had an issue where I had to tell yeah. business not to post enough, most of them are too busy to do that anyway. That's why they hire me, uh, and that's what balances not too many ads. So I separate it. The most ads you're going to see from me in a group in a day is like four, you know. but I balance them because I have a West War group, a War group, a Coventry group, and mm-hmm. I can spread them out. Uh, so it doesn't oversaturate the page. And because the page, the, the Facebook groups, for those out there that are not familiar with the Facebook groups, they're very interactive. So the content content is king in anything. You right. know, people people do come to the page to see, hey, I want to find the new pizza place. I do want to find the new ice cream joint. They do. Oh, they, dude, how about that? the Brazilian spot? You you posted the oh, Brazilian the Brazil, spot. You came all the way. Yeah. Fucking uh, 35 minute drive for me, man. He posted a pic. He did such a good job with this ad and highlighting the food. And fucking, I read what he wrote. I'm like, you, you know what? Visited? Dude, I went and yeah, yeah, I saw him. I ran into him. Yeah. Bro, I got so excited. We were a few weeks into this and I heard a voice, you know, just behind me. I didn't see anybody. Hey, that's one of the guys from the J2 podcast. I was like, <laughs> I'm yeah, like, you know, Dave. He, he really didn't even recognize that he realized it was just me. <laughs> I'm like, oh man. I told my girl, I'm like, you hear that? I'm like, and baby, so, honey, we made owner, it. The owner must have break out the out. red panties. We're rich, baby. It was a coincidence <laughs> that we were in there filming something else, and he comes in. The owner must have thought, like, oh, he just has his friends coming here to make himself look right. Good. Nah, I no, made sure, I made sure to shout you out too. I was like, listen, I only no, came she, here because of his post. She, they had just moved in, and somebody told her she should advertise with me, and she she wasn't from the area, so I said, listen, I go, I can explain to you what we do or be better. I'm gonna post some pictures of your food today contacted me in 48 hours she contacted me in two days she was we got so many people that came in from your post yeah. and we need we need we need to yeah. advertise so she, she's been you gave her, do you know what that's called that's called like the puppy dog tactic you give him like a little like that's how uh, yeah, first, pets, one's for, first one's for free drugs no no pet, like <laughs> pet store you know pet stores used to let they would you know they'd have a family come in the kid would be like hey i want to buy a puppy the parents would be like no they'd be like hey don't worry mom and dad just take the puppy home for a couple days if you don't want to keep the puppy bring the puppy well, back you're emotionally attached to yeah, it. exactly yeah, yeah. they're Probably, fucking emotionally food, attached food, to is, it. Food, is, food is the easiest thing to promote with at, at all and i got the audience i mean you're paying for the audience when you advertise of course but i keep i try to keep it personal because I, i'm not it's not cookie cutter like a, like a coventry reminder or kent county daily times mm-hmm. or it's not it's not this Hey, here five for five for ten dollars. Blah, you know, it's it's personal. So I mean, food is you don't have to be food is personal in a different way. It's like this looks good. I want to eat it. It's fucking delicious. But when man. we promote things like you know whether it's a landscaper or a fence guy or a waste away removal guy, those are as fun. So we created a list called JayKnowsAGuy.com. It's very Rhode Island, and it's this direct, is that an actual website. It's, it's a directory. It's on a way. Dude, it, we're gonna have to plug so many fucking websites uh, and it, it leads links you, when we're done with this. It leads, dude. it leads you back to a directory of all of my like. I call them the non-fun businesses. The, the, right. Mostly the trade ones. So we have like health and well. <laughs> non-fun well, business. some of them are fun. Plumbing, landscaping, like you said. Well, Joe's plumbing, not, you boring plum- motherfucker. Well, no, there, there are things that are, that are like fun and exciting about some of yeah. those things. But it's not, if it comes down to your newsfeed and you see it like a pipe, depending on what kind of pipe, uh, you're not usually going to get that excited. <laughs> I can give it. you some fun <laughs> pipe right now. You know, too, you so, that. you know, where, where a cupcake can come down there and you go, I want that cupcake now. Where you could see, if you see a waste away septic guy, you're not going to go, oh, yeah, I, no really wanna drain my, I really want to drain my septic. That's how I feel 
right now. Yeah, but yeah. What, yeah. You will do like, is, shit. <laughs> what you will do is say, hey, I need this work done. Let well, me go to jayknowsaguy.com. You're right. So when you need it, you go, I know that Jay has it because my inbox is filled. It's like all. Angie's List. It was very similar. It's, it's a very hyper local version of an Angie, right, Angie's right. List. My inbox was filled every every day with people going, do you know a fence guy? Do you know a septic guy? So I go, this list kind of diverts some mm. of that to those people hey, to that list. So when they Do you know it, a small commercial office space guy? Yeah, you asked me that. It happens yeah. every day. <laughs> I've, I what, hit him up, dude. What I am, I've become like a conduit in the community. I'm not better than anybody else. I, I, I'm I creative sometimes. Yeah, but I, but I really, I, I have this connection. <laughs> yes, uh, you are, Jay. So I know a lot of people, which is a good thing to have. So when people, I, as a business, it's great for me to use it to, to everybody's going to make a living. So people go, well, I should be able to post my stuff on your page for free. If I allowed every business to post, hold on. Who says that? Um, um, well, not not who, every, but like happens. But hold on. But people go. I what's their what's their reasoning? Why do they feel they, they go, should be able to do that? Facebook's a. Fr- now this is their reasoning. Facebook is a free forum. You charge on your Facebook group. I go yes. So is yelling out the window. So I could yell, "Come into my butcher shop." <laughs> yeah, okay. Or the it. reason you pay on the radio is because you're paying for the audience. Right. You're paying because right. people want to hear. You know. Um, they want to hear Buddy Cianci got the soul plug are, in their on. company. Are they saying they should be able to post in your group yeah, yeah, for free? Yeah. yeah. I but said, don't, you but don't they realize that when you join your group, you have to get approved, you know, to I follow guess. certain rules? Well, they see the town name and they're, they're, they think You're that right. they're entitled. Don't be an idiot. Well, well, this no, is, just don't be an idiot. Well, this know? is the thing. Most people, but when you have a group of 16,000 people... Hmm. It's how it works. So not everybody's going to understand everything. Yeah, true. And it's good. I'm sorry. Everybody, they're they're not idiots. If everybody, they're just no, some of them are idiots. Misunderstood. If everybody understood, you know, and then, you know, everybody could be doing it. But the group has a value to it. Um, Obviously, because I have, we have all about fifty clients right now, and you know, I just said anywhere from the food stuff to you know the trade guys, mm. the the boy, I call him the boy, and I admit it to them. I go, you know, yeah, obviously, like the non fun business, non fun. It's not it's <laughs> seeing a, a new hardwood floor put on the put on put in your house. If you need it, it's cool, but it's not like, yeah, I need or a real estate, you know, real yeah. estate. So we try to find fun ads to advertise them, but the list is a good way to, and you can post food more often than you can post those things. Yeah, for sure. But we're starting a new segment coming, uh, actually, this is, I'm breaking the news right here, we're going to be uh, <laughs> trying to uh, highlight some of the places you can travel around. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Breaking news. So I thought, Where you can travel around yeah, with so, fucking so next month, I wicked just, local. I re- reached out to a hotel on Block like Island. It. Um, it's, we're going to be going, uh, the beginning of next month, I'm going to be highlighting two hotels. One of them I just booked officially today. I'm going to be spending the night there. I'm going to be highlighting it, taking some video. Is it a secret, or can you tell us which hotel? I, I'm not going to say it yet, because when I go out there, I don't, want, I don't. I feel like somebody's going to send pizza to my hotel. That's the only reason I'm not going to name it. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, so that's the only reason. I don't. It's not a secret. I'll, I'll put it on the page when I'm out there. Why are you put? That's a first world problem. Yeah, yeah. I don't want anybody to send me a free pizza. Oh, I don't think they'll be free. I'll still have to pay for it. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to try to travel. Charge into the room. Tra- travel some of the. Travel some of the. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's exactly. Uh, they'll travel some of the. Travel some of the. There's a lot of places in Rhode Island. Some of us, like the, the staycation is really popular nowadays. People go away for a couple days. They don't go bar- yeah. Block Island's, a, you know, a half hour ferry ride away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and there's a lot of places in, in the vicinity. So we're going to be doing right, some, right. you know, wicked local traveler. You don't have to hashtag that. It's not an official name yet. You know, but traveling <laughs> Can around. Can you buy that domain, actually? Yeah, yeah, I should. WickedLocalTraveler.com. Ding dong, we'll I, sell I, it to you. I own you. Wicked Local Eats. I own Wicked Local RI. Yeah. I own That's pretty smart. A lot, a, lot of people, a lot of people do that. Like people that are starting businesses, buying a bunch of domains yeah, yeah. to make sure that you have it. And then I don't know. They, I own a shitload different. of domains that I've let, let go. When I have an idea, I buy the domain. And then what I, then when I decide, I, I don't want that idea. <laughs> yeah, I bought I once. I bought the domain. How much is the main cost, roughly? Uh, 12 bucks. Bro, you know what? For a year. You know we oh, have a domain, right? Year. You're just leasing it through GoDaddy. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I was actually, say, like you know that you, it. you no, no, purchased no, no, a domain you before. Okay, all right. I buy it for, I only buy, I only buy it for right. a year. I only buy it for, I buy it for a year. And, you know, except for the ones that I know I'm going to keep, like, you know, Wicked Local RI, I have that one locked down a little longer. CrazyChristmaswagon.com. Yeah. I brought oh, I J- JasonKMessier.com leads you back to, like, my political stuff. I, yeah. I, right. Because that way, when I made my fly, like even when I went out campaigning, let's let's talk about your your transition into politics. When did you decide so, so that when, you were going to run into like? So the business started same year, same yep. year. The business started first. Um, and if you told me five years ago when you guys knew me, well, I, you kind of knew me towards the airline. Jay, Jay's known me a little longer. Know you would this fucking guy's not going to be a politician. It would right. never happen. Oh, uh, don't 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 say. I thought that too. So don't say. Well, you knew so me short. when I was a mess. Jay knew me when I was even more of a mess. I was yeah. I was yeah, I was, was co- I was coming was out the of the farthest tra- thing for, in, you know. Yeah. It was a, you. You met me a little further into transition. I still was yeah. a mess. I I'd, like, I'd be surprised if Jay's still alive. And I once this. lost a race with you. That's a fucking. I once lost a I race. Can't to this guy. at your boy, bro. We can do it again too if you want. No, we can. Backs are, we can go live. I yeah. A, I have a back. No shit, bro. That no. That's called loser <laughs> syndrome. You don't. You don't want these wheels yes. again. So um, I was doing. I was doing the community things like the crazy Christmas wagon. I was doing the business. Um, I also had an infamous run-in with a with a panhandler on West Oregon. If you remember that video, it went viral. Do you remember this? 
I don't. I, I guess we should tell this story then, so because it, oh, it definitely because it definitely ties into the. Uh, Is there uh, any video of it? Can we can we look it up? Um, it's no, you can't because it was deleted at the time. So Fuck, there dude. was a. a, a I, I thought you were like the you know that when you said that I don't know why but remember those videos that were viral when the dudes were like fuck right in the pussy like. Oh no no this is news uh, guy. Yeah. <laughs> what a fucking no, genius no, he started no, this, the whole trend. Which ended up being fake, which fucked up. What do you mean it ended up being fake? Yeah, the whole thing was fake. Nobody was ever fucked. No, that guy that did that. Yeah, they yeah. were all fake. Even the news story from him was fake. Oh, like the news it channels. Real, well, they weren't real, they weren't real reporters. No, nah, it was all oh, fake. Oh, that sucks, dude. That was yeah. that would have been great. So um, there was a gentleman. There was a girl that was kidnapped uh, in 2014. It was actually early days on my page. And everybody was looking for this young girl. She had gotten kidnapped. She was raped by these two older... She was 14. She had gotten raped God by damn. these two older gentlemen. Assholes, scumbags, motherfuckers, not gentlemen. Um, and... Um, <laughs> these two they fine were, gentlemen they were raped out, this they were, out, they were out on a bail awaiting, uh, in, awaiting trial because... I think she went willingly. You're 14. You can't go willingly, right? But that's yeah. the reason. There was there was some issues of why they were out. Um, and there was an oh, inf 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 infamous spot in West Warwick where one of the gentlemen... Uh, was allegedly panhandling and somebody messaged me they go hey jay that's that guy out there and i go nah no way so i uh before i was a councilman i mm -hmm. reached out to the west Warwick police and i had a, a decent relationship i inboxed uh someone to uh, the police department that i knew on facebook and i said hey listen like is this this guy out there can you confirm and if it is is he allowed to be out there because listen I, i'm not against pan I, I i'm against panhandling but i think it's more of an epidemic of how can you help the panhandlers get mm -hmm. into into you know this mental it goes back to the mental health issue right uh, i'm not about randomly going attacking panhandlers right <laughs> but this guy is a guy that like I didn't feel kidnapped about exploiting a, them for money yeah yeah so no yeah i don't want to do that either. Right. but uh kidnapping a kidnapping a 14 year old girl taking her to new york they left her there and he's just on the corner what if what if uh somebody goes hey let me hey what if he goes can you give me a ride to providence that does, that's not out of the realm of possibility for a guy to go can you please give me a ride to providence yeah, and this girl goes just, he's a high oh, he's risk so person he's so there. nice and you know he looks looking yeah he's, he's in need yeah. yeah you know they want to do good so, and there's, there was another panhandle that used to be on that same corner, which he was well known and well liked in the community. He was a former. It was a. I, think I do a, remember this video. There was a guy, yeah, Ran, yeah. a Randall, who was well, very well liked. He was a former veteran, and you know we go through tough times, and he ended up there. So what if they just thought, well, he's on the same corner, he must be right. friendly, right? So, the police said, we're not sure if that's him. Uh, we know he's been in that area. He is out on bail. Uh, and we're going to look into seeing what the terms are of his release. That sounds a lot like, yeah, it's him. So, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, but Without you know, saying well, it. Not yeah, say, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're not sure. We'll look so, into uh, it. Yeah, it's him, dude. So uh, the next day comes and somebody goes, he's out there again. I go, you sure? They go, yeah, he just came into my convenience store across the street. They took a picture of him and yeah. put it next to his mugshot. I go, all right, that's exactly. him. Exactly. So uh, it was the, it was literally the tail end of a, 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 a biggish snowstorm, maybe like seven, eight inches, right? So I was in my pajamas. Hey, hey. That's huge. In Riyadh. So I was in right. my. Can we all agree? Seven eight inches is fucking I was, huge. I was in my. I was in my pajamas, and um, my dad had just come home. He was my neighbor. He just came home from work, and um, his car was cleared off. I go, Dad, can I take your car? I got to run to the store. I didn't put socks on. I just literally put my boots on, and I put a hoodie on, and I had my Christmas pajamas on, <laughs> and I, I had a huge beard at this point. And I go, I'm gonna go see if it's the guy. My goal was I'm gonna record this guy. If it's him, I'm gonna show the police. Yes, he's out there. Can you do something about it? But then. I go, hey, are you Lloyd Baker? Yeah. And then I like, I just, as a as a dad with a teenage daughter, and as a... You just get disgusted? I just go, you're the guy that raped that girl, right? No, no. I go, yeah, you are. And I was like, get the... I go, get the fuck... I go, hey, this is the guy that raped that girl. I go, get the fuck off this corner. Go fuck yourself. This isn't a fucking corner for a person like wow, you. Dude. Don't fucking come back here. And I recorded it, and I posted it on my page. Not... I, I, I'm usually more self-aware with things I say and post, yeah. but in the moment, I posted it. You just, you, you I go, I go, this, I go, this is probably going to get a lot of reaction. Fucking, it went viral, like super viral. Like Turtle Boy, like Turtle Boy did a story on it. It was like you know, you know Turtle Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you know, like Barstool Sports type thing. Um, and it went super viral, and it got to the point where like, what? Uh, how many views? Or uh, oh my god, at the time, seven hundred billion. It, it it reached. It was in the hundreds of thousands. I I, I ended up deleting it before it reached a million, but it would have. It would still be getting shared now. It would be one of those wow. videos where, yeah, you know, it time, would be the I like mean, I like turtles. That, that yeah. video. It would be one of those things that would be infamous. I'm a snake. So um, <laughs> that guy. I uh, the reason I deleted really? it was because. <laughs> You got this subset of people going, well, Jay's anti panhandler and Jay's not. Jay's, no, no, Jay's just anti fucking rapist. This, like, that's or, what he is. Or this, or this guy's going to, like, somebody's going to go out and kill this guy, and I'm going to be, you know, to blame. That was one of my things. Oh, What's, no. Oh, no. Um, poor, poor dude. So, um, yeah, let's feel bad for him. I, I, then, I, but then it got overwhelming. I started getting messages from people saying, hey, listen, like, I was abused as well. And it's just a totally serious topic. And I'm like, 
I would try to direct them to places like, all right, you know, here's some here's some mental health agencies, here's some people you could talk to. Like, it was above my pay grade to be able to give them yeah. information about who to talk to, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but that was kind of, you know, I they knew me as the crazy Christmas wagon guy at that point. It was before I started my business, too. It was like about yeah. a month and a half before. So I'm like, wow, this is, like, overwhelming. My page had a different name at that point. It was just called The Official Concerned Citizens of West Warwick Uncensored. I changed the I new name. I, I changed that. the new name to Wonderfully Majestic West Warwick afterwards to kind of give it a new coat of paint. Yeah. Um, in the... In 2019, I would do it differently. Would I want that guy out there? No, but I would handle it in a different way because. Right. Because well, hold on, I, I don't like want do you, well, that, That's what I'm saying. Do you think you could really? Because, like you said, you didn't go there with that intention. You didn't walk up to him saying, no. "I'm going to record this." And fi-. no, no, you went there and then you said, "I have a daughter, and this motherfucker is a scumbag." But like, yeah, but it, it, was, it, was, it was. It was like red, dude. It was yeah, red. So it I was lost like my you. fucking mind. Um, but I think I. I like to be the kind of person that people can go, listen, yeah, everybody would want to lose their mind, but you held yourself to it, you know, like... You didn't hit him. I didn't hit him. A lot Uh, of people hit that guy right there. Yeah, a a verbal shot, you know. Uh, I think, do I think... um, You gave him a lot of microaggressions. Do I think he's a a piece of shit? Yeah. But do I think I could have handled myself in a different way? My own self. I think I could have handled myself better, right? But going uh, going a little bit further... um, so I ended up deleting that post, but people—I mean, everywhere I went, because they would be like, "You're the guy that kicked that guy off the corner. You're the guy that kicked off the guy off the corner." Um, You're a hero. So, right before the election, uh, well, I'm sorry, right before um, declaration for the election, I get a call from somebody I know in the town going, "You're not going to believe what happened. Uh, just wait and watch the news at six o'clock tonight." That guy and the other guy that had kidnapped the girl got arrested because they were doing drugs with his girlfriend. She OD'd, and instead of calling the police, which you can you can call the police, the Good Samaritan law. You, you yeah, have you're, you you're not going to go to jail if you. She died. They dumped her dead body at the end of my street. It had nothing to do with me, but there was a there, behind my at the end of my street. There's a daycare. They dropped her dead body over. There's like a mill and a daycare. Oh, right they the, dropped her dead body. On the left. Yep, they dropped a dead body over there. Her body. Now, could have she lived? Maybe if they called the police, you'll wow. never know that. Mm. Um, so in my head, I'm just thinking. And I never used this as a, a during my election, but I in my head I thought, well, if I was a councilman, maybe if I had said something, it would have made a difference. I don't think it would have because as a councilman, there's certain things you can and can't control. I, I know that a little bit more now, yeah. but at the time I thought, people listen to me in this community. Um, I, I I have a good I have a big voice in this community, and I and I want to do good, so I'm gonna throw my name in the hat. And I didn't announce this wasn't the reason I announced it, but that was my own personal reason. So as did we, you think you were gonna win when you joined? Like. So when I first put my name in there, it's an ego thing. At first, you're like, yeah, you you would never put your name in if you think you're gonna lose. Right. Because I'm like, yeah, I got into the WWE mindset of yeah, we're gonna win this shit. But I ran against a a very well liked and respected uh, councilman, Democrat in Rhode Island. He had been there for 14 years. Um, wow, that's that's, tough. that's a tough thing to go against, and I yeah. and I know now even more how difficult that is. But I was too naive, which is yeah, good yeah, at some yeah. levels. It was a good. I was too naive yeah. where I didn't like I didn't align myself with any political force. You had like bear confidence, you know, when you have a couple of drinks. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I like, take that girl's right gonna now. come home with me. Yeah, and then <laughs> when you're ho- when you're ho- later on you're at home and you're just jerking off. Facebook, yeah, <laughs> yeah, to our Facebook page. <laughs> Whoa, Jesus! <laughs> no, so so yeah, I was confident. Um, but I didn't know. I mean, I, it was. I yeah. thought it was going to be close. I knew I had this big following on Facebook. Um, I knew that that um, there was people out there that didn't think I had a chance. And I ended up defeating uh, Ed Giroux, great, like great guy. It was super close too, I, wasn't I, it? I won by. We ended up having a recount. I ended up winning by uh, five votes. Oh my god! Wow. After a recount, out of how many votes total? Uh, it was seven twenty-three to seven eighteen. I still remember the, the That's numbers. That's fucking wild, yeah. dude. That's so, so it's close. So close. And when you think about the swing of like. You knock on every person's house. You talk to every person. Uh, but it, it, but it, you didn't do any of that, or did you? No, no, I did. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I worked hard. I worked hard. Did you? Yeah. yeah. And, and and the social media really was what what helped me the most. But I was still out in the community. But social media helped because people knew when I went to the house, they knew who I was. I'm right. not just a random yeah, yeah. stranger. And I had been doing these good things in the community. Years before I ran, years before right. I wanted. So to you win. started doing them not not for monetary gain, not to be a politician, no, no. political power. You, you just did them because it was what you did. People, and that's so, why so people many people were coming you. up to me uh, in the three months prior to announcing my run, saying, "So you're doing all these things, and f- you're doing all these things. Like, what are you running for? Are you running for town council?" Because in hindsight, now I look and I see people do things, and I go, "They're they're you know they're, they're prepared. Trying to run or yeah, they're you could just you could just tell yeah. people posturing yeah. in politics. You know, I see that now. I wasn't doing that because I was too naive, but I see the things I did were a perfect posturing and to, yeah, to right. do what I did. Yeah. But I it was it was know. perfect probably because it was Because it was organic and it was yeah. real. How did you feel when you heard the news that you... Oh, I flipped. I fucking I lost my mind. I was like, we fucking, we did that. I was screaming. I did a live video. Who's we? Who, 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 I had a contingent of uh, people that were helping me like campaign. We went to You're town. like a campaign manager. And... Well, what happened was even on election night, one, one of Did the... you have a lot of lobbyists? 
No, there's no lobbyists no. in West Wales. Oh, okay. <laughs> some assholes like one pizza place is like, yeah, I'll give you free pizza for a week <laughs> no, no, no. if you, <laughs> if you so make this low. There was two polling places uh, in my ward. So one of them, we got the results, and I had lost by um, like seven votes, right, at right. that polling place. Five to seven votes. And we were waiting for the other one. And I, the other one was where my opponent lived. I'm like, I, I, it's going to be tough for me to win in that area. It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's West Warwick. Everything's close, but it's literally yeah. his mm-hmm. streets, people that live around him. I'm like, that's going to be a tough area to win. I thought I was going to win the other poll, and I might be behind in the other one. Mm-hmm. So that poll, there was a problem with the machine printing out the numbers. So you had to wait like 40 minutes till the Board of Elections sent the numbers that's to town hall. a long 40 minutes, huh? Oh, my God. Yeah, a <laughs> long 40 minutes. So we drove to town hall. And we were gonna wait there. And as soon yeah. as I pulled in, I did the. I refreshed my phone. It was like, uh, it was like in Major League when you know when he's waiting to see if he has like the red, uh, the yeah, red yeah, slip yeah. in his locker. So I was refreshing, 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 yeah. and it came up that I had won by on election night. I won by twenty votes, uh, and I'm like, we won, we won. We did the oh, live shit. video. I flipped out, and then I was, I was, I was naive again, not realizing that there was gonna still be uh, like bail-in ba- ballots and provisional oh, ballots and all those things. I'm like, oh my god, we could still lose. You know, so, <laughs> after you told everybody you won. So, so after, yeah. So then after the, um, I think the provisionals came in f- first. Um, no, that's got to no, be no, scary. No, the no, mail-ins no, have no, to be no, scary because uh, he's, yeah. you know, no, the older people. No, the absentee ballots came in first. Those are the people that maybe left. Like maybe they. Uh, Went somewhere else. So what? So yeah, they, well, they wanted like let's say like last minute they found out they were gonna go on vacation or vacation they had to go, to go go to work or whatever reason. Um, those came in first, uh, like two days later. So this is like two weeks until I found oh, out I won. Geez. So I went down to eleven votes, and then it went down to six votes after the mail-ins, and then we had a recount. So the recount, I lost one vote. Uh, there was actually three votes that had not gotten counted by the um, by the machines. Uh, because sometimes people don't fill in the circle. They yeah. like circle the name or like put an X. Or people are just some people are stupid, right? Right. So those still count in a recount. If intended vote counts. So uh, two of those were his and one was mine. And actually, as, as fate would have it, um, there was an issue at one of the polling places. Talk about like fucked up shit, yeah. right? So the vote the voter count said there was uh, whatever number it was. It was ten off. So there was ten less. Um, people that said they voted and there was 10 more votes so we're like, what's going on right huh. so we, we would have to have a recount no matter what because yeah. of that issue what they ended up saying happened and as fate would have it five votes each of of the votes that didn't count were for each of us but what they said was at the end of the night actually earlier in the night uh there's these little like uh like these buckets that all the, the ballots go in and somebody didn't open the the top of the the bin and instead of them just opening the ball, opening the bucket and putting them in there, they put them through the machine a second time. This is the very, very beginning of the day. Wow. So at the end of the day, they said, well, we have, we have 10 more votes than we have people that voted. And they go, well, it's been a long day. And they left. This was said. The board of elections. I mean, the board of elections. Human error. The board of elections. The the board of elections in Rhode Island stated this is what happened, right? Right. I mean, we did the recount, so the numbers are the numbers at this point. Yeah. But they said this is what happened. That's like at Domino's when you go, well, you know, we didn't mop the floor. It's late. We'll mop it in the morning. You're talking about election, and I mean, they're probably not thinking like, oh, it's going to be this close of an election. But in in small town politics, every vote truly does count. Yeah, of course. It's It's so close. Fourteen hundred votes. Yeah, yeah. So so it's very very close. You know, you see a lot. I mean, you see a lot of recounts in local elections because there's so many that are within a hundred votes, or in my case, five votes. There, you know, there was one I think in Central Falls the same year I was there. Where it was like one vote, the guy won. Then after the mail is it switched back, and after the recount it switched back again. So in small town politics, literally every vote counts. You don't go out there and vote. Don't get mad sure. when the person you get elected wins. So when I won, then I said, "What the fuck do I do now?" <laughs> you know, I, I know I care about the community, and I didn't lie when I ran for office. I didn't pretend to be a. This is, this is not a paid position. It's, a, it's, it's a stipend. I get three okay, right. uh, uh, three hundred and twenty five dollars a month as a stipend. Can you verify that, George? <laughs> That's after taxes, so it's probably a little more than that with taxes. West Warwick was it Ward three? Ward three, yeah. Salary. <laughs> so, uh, so, so obviously you're not doing it for the money. You're not doing it for the money. I didn't. I'm not an expert at putting budgets together. I didn't right. pretend to be that. I, I'm not a lawyer. I, you know, do, do I know anything about negotiating contracts with with unions? unions no. Right. Go, but I care about the community. But I think that's what people like. Uh, I'm that's not what I want to. I'm not necessarily Sorry. a Trump me, supporter or an anti-Trump question. guy. But I, I got in on that wave of we want somebody that's not a politician. We want right. like a regular guy. Right. You know, I don't. I don't necessarily wake up and text the crazy things that Trump does. But yeah. on some level there is tweets. some there, some. what I say? 
Text. Text, tweet, text, tweet. I'm sure he texts I'm sure he texts that shit too. Oh bro, his texts are probably off. I'm sure they were fucking you wagon, know, but I, but it was it was that people we wanted somebody different. And they got rid of the Master Lever in Rhode Island, I don't know how many years ago. It's within the last five to ten. What's the Master Lever? The Master Lever used to be you could hit all Democrat, all Republican. So they got rid of that. Oh, that's terrible. So that's I run I, I run as an I run as an independent. So you eliminate that the people that Yeah, yeah, that's and that and that election in Trump won in West Warwick. So I think Did he? Nice. Yeah, so if either way, if they hit the mass deliver in one direction or the other, it's going to hurt me as an independent. Right. Right. So you probably have to pick a side. Um, so I'm glad as an independent. Uh, and when the election, I know you had a question, I'll go on to what I was going to say. Yeah, I just wanted to. Uh, so as a politician, do you find yourself. I don't consider myself a politician. I'm in politics, but I'm a regular right. you, guy. You don't have to. You are a politician. I mean, it's. You know, it is what it is. It's just kind of the title of the job that you hold. I, get I don't mean it in a negative way. I'm busting your chops. Listen, good. My chops can't be busted. But do you feel that you have to kind of be safe about how you act because of your image? Or do you feel like you're in the position that you are because of who you are, so you just be yourself all the time? No, I mean, safe is, is not the word. I say what I want to say. I do what I want to do. You have to be very cognizant of what you say and how you say it because everything is going to be taken out of Twisted context. Yeah, yeah. So there's certain jokes that I might want to make that I don't make because I'm very <laughs> cognizant. But like, but see, Trump doesn't do that and he's the president. Yeah, he's the highest yeah, fucking yeah, politician yeah. you so can there's, be. There's, there's different... He found a way to just be like, fuck everybody. No, no. And, and, and I'm like, but there's certain times where you're going to be able to, like Vince McMahon had a say, you're going to be able to eat a, eat a shit sandwich and like it. You know, yeah. like being married. Sometimes you just got to go shut your mouth and you got to pick your spots because you don't want to always... If you're just always yelling, you just become that guy that's always fucking a blowhard. Yep. And I don't try not to be a blowhard. If something pisses me off enough, I don't mind. Like during the election, this past election, which was nasty, I won. I won the re-election. This past Does it get nasty at the local, you know, like oh the local God. level so, like that? This past election, a lot of character was, defamation. Oh my maybe? God! I don't know how much you saw on social media with me. This past I was. Week. I was involved. They're, they're, I wish I lived in West World because I'd be a, a much more avid supporter. I live in. I don't even live in the. I so can't vote for you, so but you, I still so fucking. You, you both know. Uh, yeah. Anybody son, that comes son, at you, you both know my son's me. mother very well. She doesn't get involved in like defending me for anything. All right. No so we, shit, no, no, bro. I mean, we get along. Actually, the opposite. No, yes. Yeah. So <laughs> she doesn't get involved in anything. This past election, the woman who ran against me was she was evil. She was so mean. She she brought up like my dead up, my please. dead my dead father. She brought up my son. She I want to know up her name. Business. That, that financial lady or whatever that was. She was like all about finance. She wanted to do everything because that was her background or something. Uh, no, the same person I'm talking about. What's no. her name? Oh, oh, Anna, Anna, Anna Sputnik. Anna Sputnik. Sputnik. Anna what Goldery a Sputnik. fucking bitchy last oh, I don't name. Want to, I don't want to bash. Sputnik. But she was mean. She was mean. I, I don't what? want to bash her name. She was mean. No, no, you're not. I'm gonna bash her. You name. can bash. You can say yeah. whatever you want about her. Anna Sputnik just sounds like a bitch, dude. So she, um, on no, one Sputnik of Sputnik doesn't do it for you. She, Sputnik. She posted on her one of her pages at one point that my business that I run, Wicked Local Art, was illegal. She goes, I looked it up. It's not even registered through the state. Yeah, you're right. You can't find Wicked Local R.I. Because my business name is Wicked Beautiful R.I. LLC. Guess what? If you look up Jell's Kitchen, it might be, you know, it might right. be, you know, Angelina, Angel, Angelina Penta. Very common. Dude, she's so yeah. stupid. Like, so she didn't look that up. Could be messier. Uh, Dude, you know, yeah, pay, yeah, I think whatever. when you buy shit on eBay, messier. it's something like something Correct. with holdings or whatever. Correct. And like, on Facebook, like, I have different things. I don't have, I don't up, have lady. That's politics, you know? Yes. Like, no, that's just so, business. So, so like, she posts, you're, you can be but, like a DBA. This is the thing. In 2019, she posts that. I screenshot it and I go and I I went on my page and I go listen I go I just confirmed with the uh, with the um, Department of Business Regulations I wanted to make sure my well, Secretary of State's office I go I want to yeah. confirm that my business is still there right yeah all right cool somebody said it wasn't <laughs> so for those of us watching you can't see this but George is showing a showing us a picture of Sputnik I don't I don't want to go down that road with Jay it. Jay has nothing to do with this but let me tell you what's Anna Sputnik yeah. Look up her. Look up the post. She try to. She try to do Jay dirty and uh, lie so, and so, so slander. So I'm gonna when, sue her. So when um, so I'm when, just kidding. We don't know this woman. She's probably a nice woman. She just wanted to win. The she's race. not a nice woman, but I don't want to say anything bad about her looks. Like I, I no, no. I, who I said anything about her looks? The I'm mean, the, the mean things that the, said anything. About Jesus <laughs> Christ, Jay. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. She's great. So anyway, that's great. So anyway, um, I don't want to say anything about her fat. Nobody did. <laughs> Dude, that was. Nobody said anything. So she said my business is illegal. I, I, I posted the my the secretary of state's office that my my business was legal. So she, she was went, reaching. So though. that has nothing page, to do with being a, a the councilman. She went on her page for a redactment saying, "Oh yeah, listen, I I've just had too many pain pain pills tonight, so that's why." I'm Are you Sorry, Rosie O'Donnell, what bitch? What the fuck? So. She was Somebody like, posted, I was on the some, NBN. So on my page, people said, "Oh, now she's blaming it on the pain pills." It's like the, it's like the my my Twitter got hacked, right? Oh, that type geez. of thing. Right? So what I said on my page was, 
people like, oh, she, if, I don't want to elect her if she's addicted to drugs, blah, blah, blah. So I said was, <laughs> so what I said was, my comment was, addiction's no joke. If she has a problem, like, I hope she gets help. Oh, you're if, a schmuck. Because if you're posting stuff like that on <laughs> Facebook, and what if, you, you know, what if you're doing a budget and that happens? And that was a factual thing. It was not, and it was, yeah. I, I've advocated. But it's still hilarious I, when I've you say that. I've advocated for people with, with drug addiction a lot in West Warwick yeah. in the communities. So she went on Facebook and went, Jay Messier's anti-addiction and blah, blah, blah. And Jay Messier's anti-addict and he doesn't, what the fuck? I didn't say that. Get the fuck out. <laughs> it was one of those things where she could twist anything. It reminds me of fights that I used to get into with yes. Amanda. Mm. Anything could get fucking twisted around. <laughs> she was, she was Obviously desperate. The twist oh, things around. Shit. You know? Yeah. So then, she, then it went. Then the wait. Who are you talking about? Anna Sputnik. <laughs> oh, okay. So then, then the then the page went down the spiral of people going, "Yeah, and what an awful father he is." Here's a picture I found on this Facebook father. page from three years ago. Where I, I think took, you're a better father than me. Uh, and yeah, I have my I'm own kids. Debate. I took Jacoby into a liquor store Never about mind. four years ago. Remember, we did the days of school, right? We, every what for, the Colt forty five? The Colt forty five. That's what got brought up. <laughs> hey, well, how did I? I fucking I'm, I support it. that Colt forty five. So, would, would, day one through one hundred eighty one that year, we took a picture of every day of school. So, if it was day like thirty three, we'd go like into a store and set up like basketballs into a thirty three. For right. forty five, we'd hold a Colt forty five. Night day ninety nine, we went to ninety nine restaurant. We it was hardcore. We right. did it every day. So forty five, we took the picture with the Colt forty five. She goes. What but disrespect! In, he took his kid to a liquor store. In your store, he in teaches him to throw dude. stuff all over the stores. No, in your defense, in his, in Jay's defense, it was always like PG shit. You know what I mean? Like day ten would be like near oh, yeah, channel ten new. Uh, Everything the was most, oh. the most risque was on day um, sixty nine. It wasn't sixty nine. It was next to a live sixty nine session. No, it was day. It was day. I think eighty or eighty eight. Uh, we we used we used, pre we used pregnancy tests at the Dollar Tree. Yeah, and that's nothing. But the he reason he did the Colt forty five. Oh, actually, I told him I go there to see if you're pregnant. I begged him to do the Colt forty five. That's the, yeah. like, so. I I almost felt bad when you were like, oh, they're giving you shit. So for she that. said, I feel sorry for this kid. Blah blah. So I go. Well, that's nerdy. So I go. You know what? I go. I can't say anything. I go. But you know who could? I go. I go, Amanda. You see what this lady's talking about? Jacoby she goes, "Where's this fucking group? I'll find this fucking group." So, <laughs> so I go. She said, "I feel sorry for for your kid." Yeah, yeah. So I, I Amanda Sputnik. joined. The, Amanda joined the group. And she said things that you talk about the filter. She doesn't have a filter, you know. Her. You so don't Amanda say. went on there. She goes, she goes, "What the fuck is wrong with you talking about a kid?" She goes, "I feel bad for you guys talking about a kid." And she goes. How many, how many fucking pills did you pop before you posted that comment? And I go, oh, oh, my God. God. So I go, all right, well, that's not what I wanted to say. And it went down this road. That, doesn't, sound, that doesn't sound like Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it gets nasty. My, when my father, um, he didn't get buried, but he get cremated. So Hashtag rest in peace, Dickie. Where, his, where, his, where his, his parents are buried, he wanted his ashes spread over the, over the gravesite. So we spread a few of them. You, when you realize how many ashes somebody gets when they die, it's, right. you can't fucking be like a fucking mountain. Like be a a pile of yeah, yeah, you realize that after. So we sprinkled some of them there. Where, what do you want to do when you die? I'll have my ashes spread somewhere. Yeah. Block island oh, on a beach somewhere, yeah. maybe. I want my body tied to a small little <laughs> wooden boat set aside in the water, and then somebody shoots it with a flaming arrow, psh, and then I burn. Dude, you got to get off that Game of Thrones. <laughs> Like I want a Tarly ceremony. So we, when I was out canvassing, canvassing, walking door to door, knocking. One of the nights for all the idiots out there. One of the, one of the thanks, nights. Thanks, Jay. I love how he just assumes that it's idiots out there. When I was out, can't, one of the nights, you know, when the sun goes down and it's dark. <laughs> Go ahead. So one of the nights we started uh, right where the where the gravesite is, and I took a picture and I said, "Hey, starting tonight, uh, where my where my dad's ashes are spread, you know, but whatever, rest in peace, Dicky, something, whatever the fuck it was, right?" So this guy. Um, Who's on the same side as my opponent? So she didn't specifically say that. He's like, um, he's like, oh, looks like Jay's trying to recruit some more voters down there at the graveyard. And then he went to this big thing about it's illegal in Rhode Island to spread ashes in graveyards and this and that. So I go, so Bro, I, so, really? so I usually on, on social media, I usually avoid most of like the, I don't go back and forth all the time because yeah. if you do that, you'll be there all day. I I shared this guy's post and I'm like, what a piece of shit this guy is. I go, and you can feel free to let him know this. I go, to like to like disrespect my dad who had died like four months earlier and as a memory I posted a picture of hey we're gonna go out there walking for you and you post this yeah. fucking disrespectful post I'm like you're a fucking piece of shit yeah come on dude yeah so those are some of the things you see in politics it gets nasty so when I won in 2016 when I first won it was like Shawn Michaels winning the world title at Wrestlemania yeah. 12 like like you just you like it was, it was who'd he beat uh, uh, Bret Hart 
Okay. So for me, it was. I said it was the greatest moment of my oh, life. Didn't aside from the, my kids being born, really? yeah. a greatest personal accomplishment because I knew where I of was. Course. I was yeah. this big lump of shit that like I had sold my business. And I remember sitting there alone so many nights. I was back selling pizza. I would lucky I had a thirty rack of beer that would yeah. get me through the week. It's to, like, easy to beat myself, yourself up, yeah, like right there. Beat yourself up, but it was a lot of uh, a lot of growth. Sometimes happens through pain. Right. Um, That's true. So to get to the point where I was, where I'm like, people look up to me, and they're like, and then some people that knew me before I go, well, you were a piece of shit. I go, yeah. That's what people like about me is that they. That That's what you, I love about you, man. People feel like you're like a beacon of hope for people, people that feel are like in, I a, can in a be rough a piece spot. Of sh- just because you feel like a piece of shit today doesn't mean yeah, you can't become tomorrow. a town councilman. It's tomorrow. the money maker effect. Yeah, <laughs> and if you stop believing in your people, if you believe in yourself, people will stop believing. Cinderella in you. man. So when people ask you, <laughs> when people ask me questions, I, I feel like I can relate to them. Hey, can you tell me about this? Can you tell me about this? Yeah, I've been there. I've been where you are. Right. You know, I, I feel like I can give relatable, honest advice. So when I won the first one, it was just like exuberance. And I remember my dad, he wasn't proud of a lot of things that I did, but he was like super proud that I won the count because he never thought he was, you're not going to win. He, he never thought I was going to win. Right. You know, so when I, when I was thinking about not running the next term, he was kind of disappointed. Um, I decided I was going to run again before he died because the first- Oh, you were thinking about not doing it again? After the first year, there was so much negative. Negativity. I'm like, is this worth it for me to do it for the three hundred dollars a month? But then well, I, got, but yeah, it right. takes a little while of going, like, to go. You know it's what? Not about the money. No, 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 no. But I'm saying, but you go. Like, is this worth? Because it was, because it was also like taking time. It takes time away from my business. It takes yes. time, and I can still, kid, do, you know, I can family? still do a lot of the good things I'm doing in the community. Well, like I'm a community Without leader. Without it, I'm a community leader right now. I don't need that 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 title, title now. Yeah. I'm still former councilman mess here if I didn't run again, right? right. But I'm like, you know what? I feel like so many people said you're doing a lot of good there. You're, like you're gonna, you have to have thick skin in this in this business. So I go, you know what? Like I'm gonna do it. Thick. Yeah, very right. thick. Right. Very girth. Thick skin. Girthy skin. Walls. Yeah, you have to have the extra foreskin. Right. Of, 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 now of, we're of, circumcised of, up in here, bro. So I uh, uh, I decided to what, run again, what? and when I won, when I won the <laughs> first time it was Shawn Michaels. When I won. Um, this past you were Shawn Michaels when he uh, no, no. WrestleMania with Mike Tyson. No, no, like, no, no. That's what he lost. No, it was like you ever get home from work after you take a big. Sh- you got to take a big shit all day at work. You get home and you just fucking take a big shit. That's what it felt I, like this time to win. It was like relax. the only rule we have is no bowel movement on the show. George edited that out. So, so I was, re- I was like, we, we can move on now. I can go back to just. Just being a councilman and trying to help the community instead yeah. of the election was just so draining of energy, and it was just good to wow. finally move on. So yeah. it was good. Where's it yeah, going? That, where, 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 what's the next step? As far as council, mayor, well, no, mayor of West Warwick. Let's say in your political career. Um, do I want to go higher? Yeah, higher up the ladder. So maybe, or? I don't know. I considered a seat opened up for the state of House of Representatives um, this past year. I decided um, not to because. What, let me, let me I, 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 I had more to accomplish in West Warwick as far as a local representative. Right. I think when you get to the state house, that, at, at the state house, you become more of a you know a big fish in a, in a small fish in a big pond. In West Warwick, you know you can uh, directly affect so many things just yourself because right. you have one yeah. in five votes. And the you're state more engaged. You're more. Yeah. You're on the ground. And this level. is and, and our state representative, the, the, Tom Nere, who won, great, great guy. Yeah. I just feel like in my position. I'm so hyper local, even with my with everything I do. It's more of like a direct effect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So in the state house, there's plenty of things you it's can like do. Like immediate but, gratification kind of thing. Yeah, too. you know, and in the state house, there's a lot of like, all right, this 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 group wants this guy. If you didn't yeah. vote, you get fucking blocked blocked out. In West Ward, fucking, I can. I mean, I feel like I have a good relationship with all my councilmen. Do we always get agree, Do we always agree with each other? Not all the time. Uh, am I very friendly with some and not with others? Yes, but we yeah. we, we have a, we get along with each other. But I can vote any way I want and not have to worry about mm. getting my tires sliced. Although right. somebody did break my window this Christmas, so there are some people out there that Solid. yeah bust out your window for something like the, like the the. Uh, um, the circus came to town this past month, and I used to take my kids to the circus all the time. Wait, what? The this circus, past month? I the, thought they shut down a while ago. Uh, Ringling, uh, Ringling Brothers, but this is a local one called. Uh, there are more circuses yeah, than Ringling talking, Brothers. I don't know what it's called. Garden Brothers. Check it out. Or something. What's the local circus? So the, it's called Garden Brothers. So the first, Garden Brothers. the first the year fuck they is came, this, dude? first year they came to West Work. I voted for them. Like, right, yeah, vote for the yeah. circus. Bring money to the town. And I got so many <laughs> emails and so many people like my Facebook. <clears throat> like, Did they have animals? They have, they have oh, elephants you're and fucked. shit. Yeah, I get so it. I got yeah, so many emails, done. and I go, and people sent somebody sent me like these multiple lists. You got I'm, all the fucking vegan social justice over warriors. Over the last, like, e- over the last you, year, I, the, the year after that, I looked into it, and I go, you know what? I'm going to vote against it this time. So I posted a big thing on my page. I go, I'm voting against the circus tonight. This is why. I hope my fellow. Why was it? What are the reasons why? Uh, I mean, there's a long list of like the different things they do to the animals. The different, you know. Did you just not know that the first time? 
I just want to know if you so, vote, did you vote against it for the votes or because you actually no, care no, about no, animals? No, no, because because I still I was I lost four to one. It's not vo- votes, but I mean, there's a, there is a part of of the, his I, position that's servitude. Like, oh, you, no, no, I'm just, wanna, and you, yeah, but I'm not asking the, about I, the position. I'm asking about like Jay oh, message the first like, time. Well, did, did you, I do it like to pander to people? No, no. Yeah, that's no, what I mean. No, did no, you not know that? Like, were you like not? That's like that's saying ignorant. Hold on, I hamburgers. Hear me out for a second. I'm saying ignorant. Not I don't mean it offensively, but did you just not know like? How they treated the animals the first time, and you're like, "Oh, it's fun. The community, the kids will enjoy it. Whatever." Yeah. Well, and then later, did you learn like? So to say they, I didn't know is, is naive because I you know, but, but you do know, you, and then there's really being exposed I mean. to yeah, it, you know. Know and really be educated about yeah. it. Because I remember there I used go. to. I mean, my my daughter lo- joked at me. She goes, "Didn't you used to like laugh at the people that were sitting there protesting us?" Which yeah. is totally true. But I think as a politician, as a community leader, you have to be able to. You're you're. So when people talk about people selling out or becoming a different person, no, it's you not just about have to that. be able to it's relate about to everybody. And going, yeah. Hey, you know what? Like, I need to educate myself about this instead of being instead right. of you know. So I looked into it mm. and I go, "Oh, it is fucked up." You know, before you go, people yeah, abuse the animals. Yeah, sure, buddy. With a sign, sure they abuse the no. elephants. Anybody but then you that, look into it and you go, "Well, even if they like, you know, ele- animals in captivity and different things." Yeah. And you look yeah. into different things they've done. So does it mean they're abusing them when they're in West Warwick? No, we sent our police chief down there. They didn't. They weren't whipping the elephants, Maybe. And stabbing them. But there. on the road to get there, they might fucking have. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so I <laughs> said, you know, sounds what? like Jenny's it's, episode. It's not again. something I want in West Warwick, so I voted against it. I like it. Four to one. It was the night my dad, my the night my dad died. Um, I remember I texted my fellow councilman. I'm like, oh, my dad just died. He's like, oh yeah, and you're not coming to the council meeting tonight. I'm like, oh yeah, I am. But that's what my fucking dad would have done. My dad, I remember on the way to the hospital one time for open heart surgery, he called me. Yeah, he goes, um, you need to call. He was about to buy a, a restaurant, which he never bought. He goes, you need to call my lawyer. And he did, I'm like, you're going to get open heart surgery. Don't worry about that shit. I mean, that's what he was worried about. Once. Um, crazy story. He got a he got to an argument with this guy. He used to have it. My dad had a huge temper. He got to an argument with a guy, and the guy threw a fucking spoon at him. I never believed it was a spoon. It got confirmed after he died. A, the backside of the spoon at uh, Sam's Inn in Warwick, right down the road. Uh, it might have been called the Anna Bassett's Inn at that time. Threw the spoon, went right into my dad's chest. Just missed all like the heart. It went so deep that they had to rush him to the hospital. The spoon, spoon, went the backside in? of the spoon. Yep. Confirmed by the confirmed after my dad died when there's no reason to lie. The guy can another guy confirmed that was a guy that had worked with him. Uh, he almost died. They I took him to the hospital. Throw the spoon, bro. Yeah, look, it was Bruce Lee. Yeah. So my dad, my dad didn't call any of us. When he got there, he, he said, "I don't have any." Fit. He didn't call any of us because he didn't want to worry us. He got home. Oh, that's so my dad too. So, do you think about it in 2019? If that, if that happens, right? You could probably never. You don't have to work the rest of the year. Probably the next year, you're probably getting like what kind of settlement you think could probably. Half a, half a million, probably, it probably maybe, depends maybe, who threw whatever the spoon. Whatever you want, you're, you're taking some time off. The next day was a blizzard. It was the blizzard of 2005. It wasn't like a, it wasn't like 78, but it was a big storm. My dad fucking went to work in a blizzard the day after getting stabbed in the chest with a fucking spoon. That's the kind of guy. That's the kind of guy he was. Mm. You know, he could have got. He could have like. He definitely taken some days off. Definitely yeah, yeah, during yeah. a blizzard, and he went right back to work the next day. So he was Savage. stubborn. So he's a t- so so to me like. He died. He wanted me to go to that fucking council meeting. He yeah. wanted me to go there. He, he was proud of me being He didn't want to be the reason Absolutely. that you were, like, you know, stopping the. So, doing and, and there was a couple of important votes. The circus was one of them. Um, there was uh, I f- there was one other. Uh, it was another important vote on the on the agenda. That time. And, the, and I was, it was four, both votes were four to one, the ones I voted for. I went there, though, and I represented my community. So, when afterwards, when sometimes people would say that, like, you know, the reasons I'm there, like, I feel like that's dedication when you're going there at that point. To, you know, I missed the St. Patrick's Day parade the following Sunday because at that point, there's a difference between. You know, celebrating celebrating a parade right. and mm. like representing your constituents. I've never missed one council meeting. I've missed a, a public hearing for like the third the third public hearing for like budget conversations. You know, but I've, mm. I I take the job seriously. I take the yeah. I mean, it, it's it's the boring setting. Trust me, setting up a hundred a hundred million dollar budget is not fun. Um, it needs to be done though. Yeah, it needs to be done. Um, and you know, yeah, union a union contract negotiations exciting. It's fucking of course not. But there's certain parts of the job that are boring. This. Some that are exciting. What are the fun parts? The fun parts helping people in the community. It's you get are every, there like are there my, like groupies, political are there, groupies are there or political group like in a good way or a bad way? I mean, what? Well, I mean, <laughs> well, there's explain the, a bad groupie. Well, there's like the hater groupies, which are like the what they're like groupies. Uh, maybe I have the negative. wrong definition. Yeah. To me, a groupie is somebody that wants to bang you because oh, yeah, we don't. Mean, there's, there's not people waiting. There's the nobody like oh take shit. Me back, take me back to the chambers. Now. What the fuck? That doesn't happen. Yeah, scratching off councilmen from the list of things to do with my life. Yeah, but do I mean? Do you meet uh, every day? My inbox is filled with people that need help with something, and it's overwhelming some days. But it's good that people feel, you know, going back. You're to, the guy. Even back to the yeah. panhandle thing, when people inbox me, tell me like this happened to me, people feel like 
I, I can talk to Jay about something. I feel like I can reach out to that's him. That's great. That's you know, good. And that, to me, that's why, like, the people go, why can't, why don't they just call the police department? Well, maybe they don't feel comfortable reaching out to the police department. Right. Who you know, cares? Why, why, you know, that's so they reach just out. another avenue. And I'm the, I'm the conduit. And I feel like I've tried to do different things to bring awareness and, you know, to, to police department, whether it's police department fire. I've been, I've, I try to promote the police, fire, municipal as much as possible because I know they're doing a difficult job. Yeah. Um, I try to be there and go, listen, these are the, these are the guys, you know, whatever. You can, you know, obviously police and fire are different because there's not as many haters of like the fire department. You know, you get, you know, some nah, people everybody from, you, fucking loves yeah, the fire you know, department. Yeah, you know, but police is a tough job because those guys, in, in this day and age, it's crazy out there. You see, you watch, you know, you watch live PD, and that's only like a show you watch for one night a week. But you see some of the shit. That I've actually on. never watched it's, that. But I know it's a really great show. Is it always in local here in Warwick? Yeah, or West Warwick? It, Warwick's one of the one of the, I think eight to ten communities that they do that's live. Wow, what a yeah. like, well, they How wanted, wild is they that? Wanted to Rhode to, they wanted to come to West Warwick. West Warwick nixed it for good reason because, it, it, you know, for as good as cool as it is to watch as a voyeur. Yeah, you know, you're trying to do your job and you got all these eyes. It's more difficult. And that, again, that's the thing about yeah, being a politician yeah. in 2019. You got all these eyes on you. Everything you do, and people know who I am, and I don't know who they are. I mean, I go like mm. people know me from my Facebook page. Same, and, we and deal with that shit all the time. And I don't, bro. Yeah, you when you go to Braza, so exactly. it's difficult. When I go somewhere, <laughs> I tell Jacoby we go to Walmart. I go, don't make me yell at you in here because I'm gonna end up on my own page. Somebody's gonna record me yelling yeah. at you in the mm. store. I go, let's save that till I get in the car, and then I'll scream at you. <laughs> oh, he must fucking be like, Haha, I got oh, you right knows. where I want you, oh, Dad. Yeah. Like, Dad, I think you should buy me this. No, 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 Dad. I he's think fine. you should buy he's it now. Dad, I think you should buy it. <laughs> oh, you know, he does. Yeah, buy me some yeah. V-Bucks. Give me some V-Bucks so I can yeah. buy this fucking... Quit hitting me, Dad. I want to buy this new Dano skin. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Dano skin to celebrate. Like, Thanos, yeah, yeah. Because oh, they, yeah. Have, they have, like, the theme going with the... Uh, oh, you don't Avengers. think I've already spent yeah. money on that? I got it, dude. <laughs> I mean, that's the well thing. aware. That's another aspect of it, too, with my kids. My daughter's a little older, so, she, you know, she... She rolls her eyes at some of the stuff. My son, though, I mean, when I first ran, he was six years old. He went walking the houses with me. He's absorbed mm. and heard so much, like good and bad. Yeah, I, I definitely He's made, a special, I made He's some. A special thera- breed, some therapist man. is gonna get a shitload of money when my kid gets older. Talking to you, <laughs> sharing the stories. Um, He's learned so much about. Have have any dirty, not dirty, but have any other politicians like aside from what you already told us, like tried to bring him into it to. As far as like when the campaigning was happening, nah, not not really. There was that, there was those few things, um, but but anything. But I mean, just think of it like when somebody attacks your 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 family or your livelihood, your your business, it, it hurts you. And my son sees it because I get yeah. stressed. I'll get a call about something. He'll he just he hears it. And he sees how stressed he was. In 2016, we had a moment when we were walking and we ran into this guy and he said, "Oh, you'll never be Ed Giroux, the guy I beat. He's the most powerful man in West Warwick." Um, this was before or after you beat him. Before I beat him. Right, hmm. um, and yeah, I look at Jacoby and I go, "He goes, why would that guy say that?" I go, "Listen, a lot of people are going to say you can't do a lot of things." Like, and we were almost ready to, to we were done walking for the day. I go, "We're going to walk to like an hour more." I go because maybe we won't win, but we're going to, if, if you know, it, it was the perfect lesson because I go, if we work hard enough, if we talk to enough people, if we can, you know, we can win, and you know, and you know, we all know as adults in real life that doesn't always mean it's going right. to happen. It was the perfect lesson because then. The night I won, I remember calling him. I go, "You'll never be Ed Giroux to Jacoby," and he starts laughing. I call him because he wasn't there at the end because you know it's a long day for kids. So right, I, right. There's a there's a video on Facebook of me calling and telling him I won. He flips out. He's so super excited. Um, but it was a perfect lesson for him to realize, like, just sh- it's crazy. Somebody says you can't do, you know, somebody yeah, says yeah. somebody says you can't do something. Right. Fuck yeah, people would have said that to me before. Don't even bother running. I feel like too many parents lose sight of that now, yeah. man. I, my, so my kid plays sports, yeah. um, and a lot of th- I run into parents that kind of have me like I'm depressed but i'm depressed for them because their kid will be playing sports and then they'll talk to me as their kid's out there working his ass off saying like yeah we'll do this for a few years but you and i both know he's never going to really go anywhere with football or anything yeah, i'm like yeah and it breaks my heart because i'm like if you believe that how is he ever going to believe uh, the right, opposite of that so how is he ever going to as a kid, how's he going to dream big if you can't dream big for him you know when what I, mean? when I play it's, baseball as like a an eight nine ten year old i fucking thought for sure i was gonna be the next mike greenwell the right-handed mike greenwell i thought <laughs> well, for sure it, dude, i like, thought it and i yeah. did and uh, that's a great dream to have and man. when i was when you i was know? like 16 I was even more positive that I was going to be the next Shawn Michaels. I fucking loved wrestling. I Whatever loved it. Is, it. Yeah, and I thought I was going to be. I thought I was going to be Shawn Michaels. And it's funny because politics is, is very much wrestling in a lot of ways. Oh boy! Because my son, <laughs> even this this past election, he said I didn't like 2016. You and Ed were so nice to each other. This one, Ann is so mean. I can't wait till election day because <laughs> him, it's like it's like WWE to him. He's like so pumped. He's waiting for this big huge right? matchup. Dad, you need to stun that bitch. And you know what? Pol- and politics and politics is 
try, the things I the things I learned from 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 watching wrestling all these years. I mean, when you're doing it's you're cutting a promo a lot of times. I mean, it's from the heart. It's on. Makes sense. When I watched wrestling in the in the Attitude Era, when a lot of you probably watched it with Stone Cold, DX, you know, yeah, NWO, dude, that's a lot I of the wrestling, wrestling at that point was. It, do you think? Hold on. Why, why do you think we stopped watching it? Do you think it was because like that era ended, or because I went through puberty and started having sex no. with girls my own age? No. So this is that's right. Well, we'll go down. Trying to say that people that watched wrestling <laughs> did not have sex. So I'm gonna, with, with girls. Yes, I'm trying to. So, say so I'm, gonna I'm gonna tell you a story that relates back to that. So let's go. We'll go back to that in a minute. But um, yeah, that's what I did. Well, instead of instead of like having sex with girls, I was watching wrestling. I loved. It. I wanted to be nah, a wrestler. It's right? cool. I get. You it. Know, so you cut. You know, wrestling in that era was. It's obviously a script and it's it's fake, but but it's but it was they used to bring it really close to reality. So the storylines were it blurred that line of is, did he really mean that or did, you know <laughs> some of the shit they said. So that's why people liked it when it was wasn't as cartoony, right? So, so well, for, can I say something real quick just yeah, a touch bit? Yeah, a lot of people give wrestling shit by saying, "Oh, it's it's not real, it's fake." Yeah, but it is Avengers, but, right? Well, I, hold on, I hate hold on, hold on. People say that, but you I know really what? Did. A buddy of mine that's really big into wrestling. I think you know him. His name is Brian Gregg. You know he. Yeah, he knows yeah, you. Yeah, you I do. Yeah, know, yeah, 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 yeah. So he, he he's a really smart kid, and sometimes he uh, but he's he put it into perspective to me. He's like, "Listen, man, I know it's fake, but you know what it is for me? It's just entertainment." He's it like, is. "When you watch a show, you don't think it's really happening." Yeah, but watch it. He's I mean, like, "I watch wrestling, but it, it's entertainment." I mean, you know, like, the yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. This is the thing. When you watch it, though, when it's when it seems closer to reality, you can suspend disbelief, and for an hour or two hours. Mm. You can pretend like I'm, you know, you're watching The Shield, or I don't watch Game of Thrones, and you can kind of pretend like, you know, I'm sorry, what? You know, or, you know, you know Walking Dead. Yeah, guess what? There ain't, there aren't fucking zombies walking right. around either, right? But it's you an escape. You, you just, escape for that hour, right, right. you know, because of the way wrestling is, because it's it, it, people. It, it's so close to being real because because yeah. it's presented as like a real sport, but it's right. but everybody yeah. knows it's not a real sport. And for years, for real ye drama, and for, real... and for, and for years prior to like the mid 80s when Vince McMahon took it over it was presented as a real sport and it, they didn't tell you it was you know it was yeah. it was it was entertainment yeah. like it is you know so it was almost like still like is it real or is it fake yeah so in the I, 80s I, think, and 90s. I think we're now um, the storytelling and we still me and my son watch it all the time the storytelling isn't as as good now there's too many hours I mean WWE's thriving they're gonna make more money next year than they've ever made oh, in history sure, they just signed dude. a huge deal with Fox they're yeah, gonna make yeah, more they're balling they're bro. Vince more, McMahon is fucking you know, balling they're gonna, they're, their stock's selling at like $100 a share How about right it? now his son, his son dude Shane, oh, Shane McMahon Shane. bro he didn't age well no, he didn't. He looks old as fuck, like dude. Yo. He already. looks like, old as fuck. I remember fuck. when he was like young. And he's not. That's and, the and juice, he's not, man. And he's not getting the company now because he like he got away from the company with his wife. He bought some. I don't know. Dude, some, dude he's fucking. Point. He's roiding out of his triple, mind. Triple H and Stephanie are gonna like. Yeah, Triple H. He's he's really married to her in real life, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she was hot, dude. I remember. We, I mean, my son. We, me and my son. Guys, Triple H is just. Me and my son go on a lot of. We go on a lot of. We go to the when we go on a trip to go. Triple H is a genius. Let's think about that for a second. He's a genius, dude. Like, he fucking just literally right. banged the fucking boss's <laughs> yeah, daughter yeah. to the top, bro. He banged the boss's daughter. Now he's getting the company. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. That's, and she's pretty, and Stephanie, man, Stephanie's pretty cute. So. Oh, she's fucking, dude. She's so we go, when we go to the shows, well, my son, it's as much about, like, bonding, father-son bonding. What shows? You go to the big ones, too, we right? Go you go to, the, to fucking yeah, we travel to WrestleMania. We went to the last couple of WrestleMania. We went to New Orleans last year for WrestleMania. This year we went to New York. We went wow. to Royal Rumble. Whoa, 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 hold on. You went to New Orleans for WrestleMania. Yeah. Did you go down? For, was it during like? Well, did you go to see any titties? Like, were beads being thrown? Are you, you know what? Pass. Let's not talk. No, about no, no. We'll talk about this. We'll talk about this. So, um, some of the shit my son's seen at wrestling events and shows are things where I'm like, you don't have to tell your mom. You didn't. You don't have to. Like, <laughs> don't don't lie. Don't lie to her if she asks you. But we don't have to go into details about what yeah. you saw. Like, don't tell her you motorboated fucking page. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, in New, in New <laughs> Orleans, um, he called it the most inappropriate place he's ever been in his entire life. Because we were there on a Saturday afternoon, and I'm like, I don't know how close we are to Bourbon Street. And I saw this guy dancing and humping this girl, and, I, and my son and me, and we look at each humping other. Humping this girl, like, intercourse on the street? Yeah, like no. dry humping her. Dry. So I go, oh, here's Bourbon Street. That's called I dancing. I go, let's just walk down Bourbon Street. I go, we're not going to go, we're not going to go in any bars. You don't need to go in any bars there. They just, right. so they get to go. They give it to you to go. You can take your beers to go. that's how life should be So we everywhere. walked down Bourbon Street on a Saturday afternoon, and it was just like, I'm like, I need to like, come back here once. <laughs> it was fucking amazing. And he thought it was fun, you know, so we went to wrestling. Um, and actually, that same, the same night, he goes, can you, can you not drink tonight? I go. 
all right, like I, I don't like I don't always drink when we go to the shows. Like I'll have a drink, oh, what but, a, but I but I, but I, but I, I'm I, imagining myself if my son asked me that question, I feel like a real shit. No, but I wanted I wanted right, why dude. I asked. I wanted why I asked. I go I go I go why I go I just want to ask you why. He goes I don't want you to get drunk. I go Have you ever seen me like drunk in your life? Mm-hmm. He goes Well, no. I go Not that he would know what getting drunk is, but I go you know at him at his point if, if either he was scared or he saw yeah. me acting like yeah, yeah. taking my pants off or something. <laughs> I'm like I mean, I don't even know how you know what that means. I go I go All right, that's fine. And then we got him. This is before Bourbon Street. We got him Bourbon Street. I go Listen. Bro, I go. We're on Bourbon Street. I just feel like I'm on vacation. I'm not, I'm, I'm not driving. We're walking down the street. Ten <laughs> like, to, ten here's some money for a cab, Jacoby. No, no, not that. No, but I go. I go. I pro- I made you this. I made you this deal. I go, but I'm not going to break it. But I go. What if like I offer to like like buy you a shirt, like a, another? Like he already spent like 150 bucks at the Superstar store. I go buy whatever you. I go. You wanted that Pete Dunne shirt? I go I'll order it online right now. Okay. I, I, I just have a couple drinks. Cool. All right. Thanks. Yeah, I love it's it. It's like I go wife. I'm negotiating with my fucking yeah, at that point eight year old. So I had Smart a couple, kid, man. I had a couple kid's, drinks. Yeah, he's, a, he's going places. And dude. this is the same night as NXT, which NXT is WWE's developmental. Uh, like AAA right? baseball, kind yeah, of like the Paw Sox. It's like the Paw Sox, except. Um, and w- the NXT is also like a separate brand, so you get guys that'll come from a different company and they'll they'll put them in NXT. So NXT is actually the Paw Sox are not better than the Boston Red Sox. NXT has better action, like better, really? yeah, than WWE. It's sh- sh- shorter. It's a mm. shorter match. Matches are shorter. The storytelling. Triple H basically runs NXT. Triple H has a lot of say in W in like the main roster, like Raw mm. and SmackDown. But Vince McMahon calls the shots. So NXT is better storytelling. So it's a better show. So that was that night. We went there. And I, That's where um don't tell me what Daniel Bryan started, right? Well, yes, but when Daniel Bryan was on NXT, it was really just like it wasn't its own TV show like it is no? now. Okay. It's like a touring brand. It's the night before WrestleMania, they have their own show. So it's big. It's, it's big, big, yeah. So we but went it's still to, affiliated with we WWE. Went, we, it's, yeah, yeah, it's owned by Vince. Okay. So we went there. I had a few drinks, and my son. It was like the last match. He's standing on the chair. He's cheering this guy on. He's been standing on the whole show, and this guy, I still remember his name, fucking tall, skinny dude, Tommy. He comes up. He goes, yeah, "You can't stand on the chair." I'm like, "Oh, all right. Well, like." Uh, he's been standing on the chair all the time. Like he can't see because everybody stands he's up. Fucking three feet Cause, cause five, Because well, everybody's standing up. It's, yeah. just, it's a big match, but he's standing on the chair. I go, all right, well, stand in the aisle, Jacoby. Oh, you can't stand in the aisle. I go. I go. Uh, oh well. Okay. He goes, look at the big screen. I go, you can't because there was we were in a spot where it was like covered by a speaker. So I put Jacoby on my shoulders. He goes, you can't put him on your speakers. So then I like verbatim. Oh, bro. So, verb- this point, so I go, like, I verbatim. Bro, I go. Suck so, my so I go. Dick, well, dude. what? I go. Well, what the fuck do you want me to do, Tommy? <laughs> That's what I said. And then Jacoby looks at me like, get, like I could tell when my son gets nervous, and and he he seen me yell at people before, but not like, yeah, but, I, but I had yeah. drinks at this point. I'm like, this poor kid asked me not to drink, and now he's right. <laughs> now I'm you're about to get into a fucking so bar fight. No, Jacoby later on he told me he goes. I, my stomach started to turn because I thought we were going to get kicked out. So this lady who was watching, oh, you like Jacob, this, you could have been way worse than that. This lady was watching like across from us. She goes, "Come over here, buddy," because because there was nobody sitting in the seat in front of her. She goes, "You can sit right, here, stand right here." So oh, she stood with go. them. I was perfect. And then later on, we're laughing, and I'm looking at it, lose my mind. The next <laughs> night, the, the the WrestleMania was at the Superdome next door. The Smoothie King Center was where NXT was. So we go to we go to WrestleMania the next night. Who's the fucking usher in our section? It's fucking Tommy. Tommy. I guess. Oh, it's Tommy. No. Look, we go. Oh, God, good thing we didn't get kicked out. We didn't get kicked out of WrestleMania. It's tough. Wow, dude. He's seen so much. We also went to, uh, we met Jake, you know, Jake the Snake Roberts, of course. Of course, of course. Jake the Snake, right? So we went to SummerSlam a couple of years ago in New York. On my Facebook feed, it came out that Jake the Snake was going to be doing a live autograph. Uh, he was going to do a spoken word type thing. Right. So what they do is they'll tell old stories from the road. Um, but I know Jake can be pretty inappropriate. I've heard some stuff. So I'm like, it's only 25 bucks to get in. Let me call this comedy club and check. Because if I can't bring him, I can't. They go, yeah, all well, ages. I go, cool. So we went. Do they mean all ages like 18 plus or like well, nine years old? So we're going to, yeah, so you're going to find out in a second. So the, they had some comedy acts come up. First of all, I get there and there's no other, there's no other kids. There's nobody else under like probably 30. I'm like, that's a So I start to think, fuck, like he has his tablet, but I'm like, oh, we don't have headphones. I wish I had headphones. Like there was a couple of comedy acts that came up before Jake and I'm like, all right, this is not for kids. So I had my son doing like, I go, do earmuffs. So he's doing this and then I hear him go, ha, 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 ha. He's laughing at the jokes. I'm like, motherfuckers. He goes, I love this guy, Kool Aid. This is big fat. Dude, and like he tell these jokes. I'm like, he's like, I love Kool Aid. I want to buy his T-shirt. I'm like, oh my god. Now, some of the jokes he's still sick, so they're going over his head, you know, a little bit. But Jake the Snake comes on. I'm like, all right, here's Jake. We're pumped. We see Jake. Yeah, like it's gonna be wrestling, within not the, too crazy. And it was, but within the first five minutes, he's like, fuck, 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 fuck. So many times I'm like, oh my god. So I'm like, we're waiting, we're waiting. And then like the show gets about like. 
I'd say about halfway through, and then Jake starts telling this story, which I can predicate where the story's going. It's, it's a very sexual story involving circle jerks. <laughs> okay. So I just predicate, what, but my son Based is, on your experience, you're like, I know what this is. No, because he, he started telling a story about each guy pulls a sausage out of, the, out of them. They, they, it was a guy sleeping, whatever. So I go, all right, we're leaving. Like, all right, at this point, like, he didn't he didn't know where it was going yet because he was, he was, he, he, it, he was young enough where, like, <laughs> every, like, anything phallic didn't really mean, like, at this point when he's nine, anything phallic means a penis. You know, he wasn't old. So I, we're, we're going to, we left, but I, well, you still was going to be the meeting greet with jake afterwards hmm. so we wait we go in the hallway to meet him we're first in line which was kind of cool i can still kind of hear some of the show um and jake the snake is known he like he had many substance abuse issues he was on he probably probably yeah. probably he was, still alive yeah, yeah, yeah still he, alive. he was on joe rogan not too yeah long well, ddp ago, ddp does wow. the ddp yoga where he oh yeah bro he got he's, jake clean jake's dude. like in pretty decent shape and for a DDP guy that was, yoga is no joke bro like, yeah he's, he's got a lot it's of a thing where he's, he's helped a lot of people scott hall yeah. if you got people with substance abuse issues so he's helped him out but I mean, he's known it's to like be. He wasn't a good parent. He was you know, a lot of substance abuse, adultery. Not there for his kids, right? Not just you know whatever. We all have our demons, but mm. he was kind of a bad father. So we're the first ones in line. We pay the money to to get a photo with him. We walk up, and Jake looks at me. He looks at Jacoby, and he goes, oh, "You weren't supposed to be here." <laughs> So this is fucking Jay Mess here. I just fucking got admonished by Jake the fucking Snake Robinson. Wait, why did he say that? Because he, 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 reali he realized the show and the things he had been saying. He probably remembered oh, the Circle Jerk story. Oh, at the comedy club. Okay, yeah, okay. I thought it was the night. next day for some reason. Same night. And he and I'm, I go, we took our picture and I walk out and I'm just like, what the fuck kind of father am I? So then he, <laughs> Jacoby goes, I've never heard the F word so many times in my entire <laughs> life. Right. I go, oh, yeah, maybe we don't have to tell mom about that. I go, if she asks you, did Jake the Snake Roberts say the F word a lot of times, you can tell her. You don't have to lie, but we don't have to go out of our way to, yeah, but, to tell her. Like, hey, mom, guess what? Yes. Jake the Snake said, don't, fuck. Don't tell her unless she asks you. And we got, that specific way. And we got way. lost on the subway. Well, lost on the subway. You know, we got off at the wrong stop. We, we, we were misplaced for about a half hour on point. He was, like, crying, thinking we were going to be, like, a homeless person on the the streets collecting. Oh, Jesus Christ, so bro. he remembers the two things about that trip: getting lost and Jake the Snake saying "fuck" oh, on the odd. trip. Yeah. So, but so those are the things. We, those it, trips are fun. That's pretty much it. it zeroes out right there. So yeah. Those trips. A good time. Are, those trips. Are, even this week when we went to WrestleMania this year. It, it, no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> good. He just when, does that shit. When sometimes, we went to weird. Wrestle when we went to WrestleMania this year, because we, we now he he's older now where he's seen. I mean, he's going to the subways. I know, like adults. We ran into some adults. We were in because WrestleMania was in New York this year. There was some like adults at our hotel, and they're like, "I don't even like I I don't even use transportation, public transportation. We're from Michigan. We came out here." And I'm like, "Listen, mm. my my nine year old, he fucking he'll lead me. Like, take this train. They take, I even got on the the wrong Q train. He goes, "No, no, we need this Q train." I'm like, "No, this is the one we get on." Wait, Jacoby told you that? Yeah, and we got yeah. on. We were 15 minutes later. He goes, "I told you we were supposed to take the other Q train. <laughs> this is my nine year old." So so he he's seen a lot of stuff. He's he's very cultured for a young kid. Between the places, That's good. Be, between the places that Amanda, my ex, has taken him. You know, so he's you know in this past he year, he definitely he's, sees he's more been than the average. Florida, Phoenix, Arizona, New York City. He's been That's so great. it's great, you know. Um, it's funny. I just got a text from Amanda before I got here because he's been out of school a few uh, about eleven days this year because we had went on a couple trips. Oh, I think we, right now we went to Phoenix. We, mm -hmm. we we're New York again. He's going to Florida for her Amanda's went graduation. To Texas, right? So and just think about think about all the Texas, but that was that was that was during Christmas break. So you think of all these places he's been. Like you're learning school's important, but being cultured around the world. Like I grew up. Yeah, right. We went on vacation once as a kid. Worldly. We wouldn't come all the way to Warwick to go to Rocky Point because we were in our little bubble. Yeah. Letting kids learn about what's out in the world is a good thing. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, so Absolutely. he's seen a lot. School is important, man, but like we have to. I I'm a big like advocate of like breaking out of that oh whole cookie cutter mentality like sitting in a desk get, get being programmed to work from nine to four like you don't have yeah, that's, that's what, not life I and mean, that's what society yeah. teaches you to do be in this bubble you know that's the good i had thing. a conversation with steven the other day like it it got down to me telling him i'm like bro as long as you can read you're gonna be good you know what i'm like as long as you can read, you can figure everything else out, man. Well, yeah. it's true, and like I'm not saying drop out of school now, but I, I roll just, my eyes. My daughter yeah. talks about college and math skills. Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, read, I, if you can, if you can read and do basic math, well, there, you can. Even if you can't do math, though, you can read on how to do math. There's, cer there's certain jobs you need. You need certain schooling. You need. You know, yeah. But I think a lot of kids. Like what? Hold it. Give me an example. You want to become a lawyer? You if go I want to become school. a lawyer, you're telling me I can't just learn everything I mean, that I need. To, I can't read at books. What is college like? When you go to college, you go to law school. Well, that's or why the co college is the it's biggest. Some, college is the biggest scam ever. Yeah, it's somebody just scam. reading books to you or telling you what to read in a book. If but you I can think read, the you problem can is it out. There, there's certain inform certain information you need from from every class, right? But I think school is it's a little better now than when I was in school. But it's so this these are the 10 things you need to learn. 
you know, like standardized tests and the biggest fucking bullshit in the entire fucking world. Bro, don't even, cast, don't even get, cast, my son, my son just, he's just doing this year's, it must be the first year they ever done standardized tests. He was, was he in third grade? Yeah. yeah. So he's like, Rye these cast, are, right? I don't know what they call them now. They used to call them MAT tests when hey. I was in kids. But, no, I'm uh, telling you. I'm not asking. That's what they're called? Yeah, I'm telling yeah. you what they're called. So um, he's like, these are the worst thing. He goes, you don't even get graded on them? I go, yeah, those are standardized tests. And I don't even want to tell him. Stupid. Like, I don't want to tell him, like, don't even give a shit about them because I don't want him to get them. Stupid. But I, they're, they're, they're awful. But you know, yeah. That's, I know, just, I, that's just a way for the, like, the, the school system to gauge themselves on where they rank yeah, against when, other when schools. I, yes, how well they're when I was like, in seventh, I went, to, I went to Catholic school for one year in seventh grade. I, would get, I was getting bullied in sixth grade. All male so or my all female? Uh, no, it was both. Nice. Uh, it was both. Skirts? Yeah, but it was uniform, so yeah, they weren't, like, they weren't like Britney Spears. I mean, I was in, uh, <laughs> So, um, I took, when we took the... <laughs> we're like Britney Spears. No, when, I, when we took the standard eye test, I go... I don't fucking. I, I was old enough to go. I don't give a shit about these. Don't come for grades. They don't come for anything. So I just fucking, you know, fill in the circles, whatever. I can go back. To, I would go back to do my fake. I would like make fake wrestling tournaments. Like, what if Bret Hart ever faced like mm. Sting at WCW and they had a match and I had like a tournament, like fantasy tournaments, right? <laughs> so in eighth grade, I went. Uh, my school closed. The one year Jay Messier goes to Catholic school, the fucking school closes, right? So that shocker. So uh, in eighth grade, I go back to public school and they don't have teachers to talk about where should we place Jay. So they put me in. Now this is not a word I use. This is what they used to refer to it as the. Sp- the sped class. That's what we called it back then. <laughs> they called it the sped class. That's what I got Special put in. Special education. Yeah, yeah, so I'm, so I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a Fucking negative. That's hey, what, hey, that's, hey, hey. It we was know, a different time. We know what it was. It was one teacher, five kids, it man. Was, like it, was, it, was, it was what they called it back then. Um, I'm not the smartest guy in the room. I don't think I'm at the bottom of the spectrum. I'm somewhere in the middle. Um, so they put me in the lowest possible class because they did it by, they they placed me based on my score. So like, this fucking kid doesn't know anything. Hmm. Really, was, they did they know <laughs> they fucking should have graded me on that tournament because it was a fucking an amazing tournament. <laughs> So when they put me there, I was in this low class, and I used to call it. You don't have to be the coolest. Guy, you don't have to be the coolest guy in the room. You're just gonna be cool, coolest, cool than the guy sitting yeah, next to you. you. You know. So I was, I was in this class where like I overachieved by fucking leaps and bounds. <laughs> the first quarter, I got, I was elected the student of the quarter for the entire team and this included not just the lower class but all the all the class like the, the each they had a team it was a silver team mm. so it was like let's say one through five like one you know one was the lowest and five they didn't they had like names for them i, I forget what they were colors because they don't want to say you're one and you're like it makes right. you feel like you're you know so they call God it colors damn, so but you knew the kids PC. knew you gotta let the kid know, bro. But like, the kids you're knew, a fucking the, one. The, He's a the five. Kids knew. I remember I won a spelling bee in my class. I fucking I, I, I won a spelling bee because I'm like, oh shit. Like I, I thought I was the smartest kid in the world for like I don't know, one year of school. Uh, so That's wild, yeah, man. you gotta be the cool you don't you don't gotta be the coolest guy in the fucking world. You just gotta be like smarter it's than like uh what's that movie dude where Fuck man, but they're getting chased by bears, and he's like tying his shoes. He's like, "Bro, you can't run, outrun a bear." I just gotta outrun you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's like, "I don't have to. I just have to outrun you." Yeah, Fucking yeah. So standardized test is the worst thing, and schooling is important yeah. to some level. But I think too much of school. And I used to say this when I was in school. Like, it's set up for like you have five classes. Why don't you have some more real life classes? Like how to fucking balance a checkbook. Yeah, you know, do ta- how, do do taxes, ta- how to do your how tax. credit works. You know, shit like that, dude. Yeah, you know that because as school, a society they don't the, want you to learn a lot. Yeah, of this, the standard in school is just to like prepare these kids to work for somebody from x time yeah, yeah, to yeah. x time it's, yeah. it's you know, that's why I, that's why social media to me like there's so many negatives with social media because there's so much negative on there yeah. but there's also it's what you make out of it yeah uh i try to be the positive for a lot of things out there i try to be the you know the the dio song rainbow in the dark because i feel like a lot of times people hear so much of the next that's why i mean you you actually made a post the other day about people that post like when they do good deeds trying to mm. get like a pat on the back right so that's true to some extent it's oh well, it's, it, it's very it's, true it's true but to but me to I, me i get what you were coming to from me too. i feel like um when i do something good in the community I ne- I very really I, you don't see me post like look what I did today. Yeah, <laughs> look what, what I did. I'll say is I have this car with Christmas lights on it, but look at fucking Bob Thomas. You know, look at Emil Lavoy who donated some presents for these families in need. Look at the yeah. Westwork Police right. Department that donated money for these people. So it's my car and it's Listen. me, but it's me saying look at this, look at these people in the community. Right, it's not pointing yourself. Yeah, you're not pointing I'm them. not putting myself Jay, let, over. Let me give you a very specific. What I'm talking about no, is I, one video sticks out in my mind, and it's this dude with a fucking camera with selfie mode, and he's like. Hey guys, I'm blah blah blah. I'm here at McDonald's. We're buying a thousand cheeseburgers oh, for the homeless people. Do me a favor. If you like oh, homeless people, like videos. and subscribe yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, and yeah, we're gonna yeah, fucking. Yeah. If you like this video six hundred times, we'll feed more homeless yeah, yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like, so, bro, personal. Go fuck yourself. So what yourself, I try to bro. do, yeah, what I try dude. to do is, 
Yeah, is my name attached to that video by default? Yeah, but my video is I'm the conduit. I'm the I'm the fucking Alex Trebek. I'm the fucking you know I'm the yeah. host of this show, and I'm just like look at the police department. Look what they're doing. Look at look what this person that donated, mm. you know. And I'm the guy that's Love pointing that, out the other yeah. people. And even I'm, I, a lot of my businesses, we'll try to do, we'll try to honor different people in the community that do good things. We have a segment called Hero Hero uh, Heroes Among Us, where we honor people that are doing good things in the community, and I think that's important because there's so much negativity on Facebook. It's cool once in a while to not see like you know like when the like the police department this year they wanted to donate money to my car and of course driving with christmas lights on a car could oh, that's be, cool could be borderline it could be illegal right so i got a call from somebody in the westwork police department they go yeah we want to donate money but we have a cool idea like they, they go here's a way you can do it legally no 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 no, no, cool? no no they go we want to donate money but we have a good idea for a video they go i go everybody says you should we should pull you over because in the past i had gotten pulled over in like right, connecticut right. a few years ago. yeah i had some problems idiots. Um, so, I mean, now that most people know what I do, I don't get problems in Coventry West work, work. They know what I'm doing it for. I'm not being an asshole. I put lights on my car. So, I also get there, there, like, if there's a law behind it, I understand, like, it yeah, could be a distraction. It could be. It, but, it could be. like, come but, on. So don't be an idiot. He goes, we got an idea. He goes, we're going to, uh, we'll pull you over. And instead of giving you a ticket, we'll give you, like, a, a donation. donation. That's good. So I go, all right, how are we going to do this and record it without it making it look staged? So I have my friend that has a – it still looks super staged. Looking staged is fun in that situation. You're right, but I wanted to yeah. make it look as real as possible. So my friend Emil, who does a page where he, like, he um, he films random stuff. Like, oh, yeah, I'm at the gazebo today and I'm filming. So we had him filming. He's like, well, we're at the gazebo, which is going to be lit later this week. They're lighting up for Christmas. So I'm just kind of here letting you see the new Christmas tree here. And, oh, there's Jay driving by. Oh, my God, he's getting pulled over by the police. <laughs> over. So then he comes in, like, he's way too close where if somebody ever got pulled over, unless you're live PD, you would never be in my face. <laughs> so he goes, you need to get out of the car, and then he goes, you need to step over here. He goes, Jay, listen, he goes, we're not here to give you a ticket. We have a donation. So they hand me the donation, and I'm like, that's a cool video. So I go, oh, my God. I go, I go, I go, I go, you, go you scared me. I thought, like, I was getting a ticket. And the thing was, it, it was done so well. That I had one of my fellow councilmen go, all right, we know that the, the cop was in on it, and we know your friend Emo was on it, but like, you, <laughs> did you really not know? And I go, no, of course I did. Like, I'm a good, I guess I'm a good actor. Yeah, there you I'm go. a politician, of course I'm a good actor. So, and then she, ABC6 picked up the story. They saw it on my, they follow my crazy Christmas wagon page. I didn't even know. They go, ABC6 did a story, and they did a story going, oh, Jay, they were like, Jay didn't even know he got pulled over. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, so that's how when they talk about fake news, like, you know, it's it was, but things like things news, like though. that, things like that. I feel like people go, "Wow, that's a really good thing," because you know, police get such a bad rap of, "Oh, this fucking guy pulled me over." Yeah, and, you know. sometimes you just need those stories to make you smile. Like I love when I see videos of a cop fucking playing stopping his car, even if it's staged. Yeah. yeah, exactly, dude. Like playing basketball with a kid. Well, people forget. Or fucking like helping a kid make a lemonade stand. People, like people forget. They just think of like, yeah, great. There's the gonna people, be, man. There's the gonna people, be some videos yeah. of cops doing some some fucked up shit somewhere in the world. There's gonna be some videos of. Politicians doing some fucked up yeah. shit in the world, but you got to realize the people the they're the people at the end of the day, and they're like, especially in a small community like West Warwick, you know, a lot of those officers either live in West Warwick or neighboring communities. Yeah. They're people that are eating at the same restaurants as you. Their kids are playing sports with you. You know, they're regular. They're regular human beings. Right, are they right. going to be out of a, out of a, you know? Same thing in politics. Out of out of all the politicians around, they're going to be some that are assholes. Yep. yep. Police officers, it's firefighters, just, uh, anything. And, and anything in life, you're going to find. You know, that's why I talk about my Facebook groups with sixteen thousand people. Yeah, they're going to be some people. They go, oh, there's a lot of people that yeah, cause problems. Some people yeah. in there that are going to be. But people remember they in their mind. It's those the negative. They remember those as opposed to like the positive things. You know. All right. Well, no doubt. Let's wrap this shit up. Yeah. A little bit. I mean, that's a good note to end it. Anything else you wanted to bring up? No. No. We you wanna... I actually had a list of things I wanted to cover, and you. You organically just touched on all of them. Even fucking WrestleMania. How did you, that even come up? I fucking touched. I thought that was going to be touching random shits. Oh yeah, yeah you you touched. Well, all, in honor you of touched. Joe Biden just announcing his presidency, I think it'll be touch on a lot of random things. All right, let's just yell out a lot of things for great keywords right now. Game of Thrones, Avengers, Donald Trump, racism, sex. You can actually Good. use them as keywords. Without you say, are, you, are, you, are you singing? Are you singing the uh, "We Didn't Start the Fire" right there? British politician sex, JFK blown away. Oh, what else do I? Hey, dude, Jot, jo, listen, still have man. Do commercials too. I fucking uh. If you ever go to karaoke night from like DDP, they go across the street. Yeah, of course I've been. Uh, John Cashion sings that song, fucking yeah, karaoke. Like, yeah, oh, he looks like yeah. He wrecks that song, dude. Destroys it. Those it's, the, a, it's the best karaoke performance I've ever seen, and man. Those out there that want to want to that specific song. That's the only reason I know that song is I can picture him going. Hey, hey, start a fire. Anybody, I don't know anybody listening to this whole thing, but if you're still listening right now, you want to find out more information about me. There's like fifty whoa, 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 million please, Facebook please, pages. Hold on, well, dude. 
who do you think? Do you not think we're going to plug you? Like, but let us do uh, it. Well, well, all right. All right. So <laughs> I'm going to tell you the pages. Be- you don't know that. You be- know all the pages. Before we go, guys, you want to know all the pages? I want. I want people to know that we want you to plug. It seemed like you just interjected your plug without no. us going. I'm just you know, letting like, you know. I'm just letting you know. We want you to plug. We're going to fucking put every link you have. Nah, I'm going to go. The, I'm going to go the first few. All right. So. If you want to find a site that will redirect you to his political site, it's jasonkmessier.com. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to let you take it from here. Where else? It's all, it's all, <laughs> all right, so where else, where else can they find you? Don't uh, so listen, on, Go slow, though, because he's going to type these up. Yeah, so on Facebook, we got Wicked Local RI. Wicked Local RI that, on that's Facebook. The, that's the hub for everything. If you, if, you go to, if you go to that page, you can find all my groups. I run a, I run a Coventry group, West Warwick group, Warwick group. But if you go to Wicked Local RI on Facebook, local. everything is, is, con, is connected through that page. So really, that, I'll just make it easy for them. Or if you go to WickedLocalRI.com, that's my website that has everything there, too. All right, so find them at WickedLocalRI.com. Yep. And the Facebook page, WickedLocalRI. Yep. And then we got the Crazy Christmas Wagon. Yeah, the we crazy got down Christmas down, Wagon. We don't need to make it too more Basically, Jay, Jay Messi is a really easy, uh, easy guy to find, guys. So check him out. And if you enjoyed it, please like, share, whatever the case. Man, Jay, thanks for coming out. Hey, thank you uh, for having me yeah, on the show. I'm glad. You, I told you we could simmer it down. We we usually get a little inappropriate. I know nah, at, first, good, good. at first you were hesitant. You're like, I can't do this shit, man. You guys are out of your fucking mind. But I, I, I still always plan on coming, but we wait, wait, wait till the election. Oh, you're just fucking honey. You're a honey dicking me. All right. Um. Before we go, guys, just it's a- like a girl. I'm playing. Hard, I'm playing hard to get. Hey, well, fucking got you. It just came on your yeah, face. Yeah, you can't say. Yeah, uh, I don't. I don't. Yeah. Just, so I don't. I don't usually do this. Yeah, exactly. I don't usually do this, and then she gives you the fucking double twist three thousand. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, <laughs> What? So, uh, before I haven't we had go, a double twist three thousand in a long time. So is but, that is that you're gonna give me that after this program is done, right? Christ, dude, nah. <laughs> um, so before we go, guys, I just want to say a quick. Oh yeah, no, that's it. Actually, I'm gonna do this later. Thanks for listening, guys. Jay Messi, you find him on. See, even right sul- now, I'm getting the Sultan of social People media. asking about street sweepers. So I'm gonna Holla. Okay. Uh, everybody, thanks for listening, guys. Just want to give one more quick thanks to all of our sponsors. I'm going to fuck up the order a little bit tonight just to have fun with it. First of all, thank you to DDP. That's Donkey Dodgers Poker. Always coming through. It's a fun night, guys. Check them out on Facebook, Division Street Auto, 595 Division Street. You can also check them out on Facebook. You can Google them, too. They're legit. Onlyville Tires. Hit up Dory. She will help you out, guys. We got J&W Construction. Uh, you can find them all over our page if you need the contact info. Legends Pub and Grub, right across the street from a beautiful Italian spot. I won't name them because they do not pay us to name them. And last but not least, <laughs> last but not least, Jay, who am I forget? I mean, uh, George, not you, Jay. Who am I forget? We got them all. Got Legends, Division got DDP, Street. got Division, got Onlyville, got JW. AJ is no more. I think that might be it. Tops, 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 top. Electrical and lighting galleria, whether it's LED fluorescent, uh, anything electrical, conduit, wiring, they got you covered. Check them out, guys. Thanks for listening. We love you. Hashtag holla, hashtag J. The Filipino ninja, my man. We love you. Bye.